Hello everybody and welcome back to Fandelver and Below, the Shattered Obelisk here on Dork Tales. I'm your Dungeon Master Kelly, I use he and him, and uh, folks, we are, uh, we're back. We're back and we are investigating some crimes and chaos. Chaos. I'm excited about it. Uh, we're going to be getting into game in just a minute. Uh, Krista will not be joining us tonight because they were at the Terminal City role-playing convention over the weekend and blew their voice out. And we're going to spare our podcast listeners and our mobile listeners and all the people who rely on sound to enjoy this game because we had some great, great voice clips that Krista sent throughout the day updating us on the lack of healing. <laughs> it was pretty bad. It sounded like someone stepping on a mouse. Um, so, uh, we will have Carmilla back next episode, but Carmilla has something to do, which we're going to write into the plot. You're going to love it. Uh, but before we jump into game, we should probably tell you who actually is here. Uh, let's start with Christine. Christine, you here? Uh, um, I don't know. I, um, am I? No, nah, not really. Yeah. Stressful days at work. Woo. Um, but hello, I am Christine. I use she, her pronouns, and tonight I get to play Lady Alessandra Salise Martin Barroquel, our ASMR paladin, Oath of the Watcher. Nice, nice. Uh, also nice is the tiny little sociopathic halfling next to you, um, is coincidentally playing a halfling. Caitlin. What? Where? Hello. I'm Caitlin. Uh, I use she, her pronouns. And so does Anthea Briarfoot, the halfling artificer of the group. Oh, she's also an alchemist. She's also an alchemist. With her little homunculus squish. Nice. As I like look to see if I have like a little squish, but I don't. We need to get you some slime. Yeah. All right. Down beneath you, we've got Amy. Oh, that's me. Hi. My pronouns are she, her, they, them. And I am playing Lyric, the tiefling bard college of creation and things are going fine totally fine for her yeah no concerns no concerns all right and then uh krista crickets crickets uh and then chris hi howdy i'm chris i'm playing sindri the half elven monk i use he or they pronouns sindri uses uh he or him pronouns uh here we go uh here we go very nice I, I like I can't do the vampire voice that I usually do as soon as Krista does it. It's very sad. I miss her dearly. Oh, hold on. I'm so. playing <laughs> Krista. Uh, today, uh, I'm Kelly. I will be playing Carmilla Erizarin, our Dampir battle master. Hey, bleh. There we go. Back. Right. There it is. No, not even. Not even. Oh, go, go, cut the credits. Cut the credits. Line. But um, bum bum But um, bum bum Um. All right. So, Chris, who are you, and what are you? Why are you here? Uh, yeah, I'm playing Sindri, our half of a monk, the way uh, the Ascended Dragon uh and why am i here good question uh because i want to spend time with all of you Aww. and all of you and all of us it's a, a great time with friends that's why i'm here beautiful beautiful you know what else is a great time having lots of dice which you can also have lots of dice folks if you go to our sponsor bookworm games bookworm games is your place to get more than 170 different types of dice uh from liquid core to metal to resin to gemstone you can also get uh, some fantastic things like teas you can get jewelry you can get little familiar pals and very soon uh in about six months uh you are going to be able to buy modules from them and books and role-playing equipment and all of the stuff that you need to run adventures and it might even have my name on it so you you definitely want to go support them and uh when that i don't even, i think it's going kickstarter i think we're just going to go straight to publishing on that so be sure to uh to buy that when it comes out because i have an absolutely three ridiculous stories that i'm telling in that book and uh, i'm very excited about them uh so bookworm games is also where you can save 10 a uh, premium is also where you can save 15 percent if you use code dork tales um so go ahead and do that. Get yourself some dice. Feel nice. Uh, besides that, uh, we have about three-ish weeks before Extra Life. Uh, Extra Life is our charity to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. It is going to be on April 12th, 13th, and 14th. We're going to run 14 games over three days to raise money. You can affect the results of those games and get tax credits if you live in North America. Um, if you live outside of North America, then you just get like lots of warm fuzzies. It's, it's pretty great. Um, so 
thank you so much for being here with us and hopefully coming to enjoy uh, Extra Life. Besides that, we got a bunch of other cool stuff coming to the channel, but that's going to be a surprise for later. All right, so folks, last episode, you all went to Neverwinter with a bunch of these ruffians that had escaped from the town master hall uh, and uh, had taken something from the... Uh, the Fandolin Miners Exchange in order to do so. Um, and uh, yeah, it uh, it was super above board and nothing was, was wrong at all. Um, so, you know, that's exactly how we love things around here. Um, obviously no hidden Zentarum plans or anything like that. Uh, so when you returned, however, after having a nice time in the big city, you discovered that not all was well in Fandolin after a mere four days away. In fact, the townsfolk were darn near rioting at all sorts of strange events that had occurred over the city. Using your uh, big mom energy, Lady L, uh, you were able to, um, to calm them down, and then one by one, you all worked to assemble their stories. After Harbin Wester, uh, the town master, offered to pay you a bunch of gold, you agreed to go around and try to investigate this because, hey, you, they don't have money for a town watch. Although, strangely, town guards don't get that much money and him giving you a couple hundred gold could probably hire a constabulary force. So I, I, I'm going to, we're just going to say that's a plot hole that we're going to just kind of hand wave. But also, you know. It's probably more that he just can't get anybody to move to live there. It's like how remote yeah. places have a hard time having doctors and have to like pay an exorbitant mm. amount for one. <laughs> no, that's fair. That's All right, what so, it is. Uh, so uh, without further ado, let's hop into Fandelver and below the Shattered Obelisk here on Dork Tales. The townsfolk are all assembled. They line up and begin to give their claims down. You've dragged a table out and one by one, you are taking their stories down. Uh, Lady Alessandra, were you the one that said that you were taking the notes down? I was going to, or at least, like, start... No, I was delegating. That's what it was. Okay. I had yelled at the crowd. All right, who can write? <laughs> Some of them agree, but um, their handwriting is abysmal. And as the table is out, you can see Carmilla look down and go, no one is going to be able to read this. Just a moment. And is going to pluck the pen out of someone's hand. Sit down and go, All right, what is your problem? And we'll begin using impeccable penmanship to jot down. Yes, okay, so the well was smashed. The winch was smashed. And then these creatures fled underground. It sounds suspicious, but okay. Let's see. Um, and then she'll begin taking notes. Over and over, uh, you see these stories coming to the fore, and after about 20 minutes of taking stories, uh, Carmilla will pull you aside. So, I have the stories, at least for the, the initial investigations. The town master wants me to stay and continue to take stories and act as a bodyguard. Are you okay I mean, doing the inv investigations? Yeah. If it's part of the deal, like... I mean, I'd trade you, but your writing's better than mine. And also, I don't want to spend the time around this guy. Like Am Sindri right? says, with a, like, a, a stage whisper. Your writing's mm. better than mine, too. But we'll miss you. But we'll see you soon. It is true. My handwriting is very good. It's okay. really nice. So here, and she'll pull off a piece of parchment and hand, you, hand it to you. It looks like there are four things that need to be investigated. Barthen's well. Uh, there's a well behind Barthen's provisions where the goblins, uh, they, they, they say they were goblins, at least. Uh, they could be children, probably goblins, though, knowing everything around here. Uh, smash the well, winch. The winch, the, the winchy, the, 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 the thing. Uh, before, uh, running away. Then, uh, let's see. Uh, the miners' exchange is, uh, 
tilted. Now. So that's that's weird. Um, then uh, the Shrine of Luck uh, is uh, has been desecrated. And uh, the Sleeping Giant, where the, the ruffians were, it's been ransacked. Okay, mm. maybe the Sleeping Giant one's pretty bad, but the rest don't seem like anything to riot about. Mm, but there's a lot oh, more, I mean... apparently. Oh. Structural integrity is pretty crucial for buildings, though, so that one might actually be a problem, too. But the rest mm. seem just kind of... Annoying. Hmm. Tomorrow's shrine being desecrated for a second time is something I'm not thrilled about. Well, why don't we check mm. that out right away? It's just across the square. Yeah, let's, mm. let's get started. It's close. Okay. We could always just go in a clockwise direction around town, hitting each one in, in order. This is true. I mean, that's probably way better than going across town and across town and across town. Yeah. You have a... This is true. Good luck. I'm going oh. to go deal with the blowhard. Oh, good luck. I'm going to need it. Mm. Okay, I'm Why coming. Stop him too hard. What? Try not to stab him too much. <laughs> I would it, never. It might be inappropriate if you handcuffed him in his own room. <gasps> eh, perhaps. Good luck. I wish I would be coming with you, but uh, my work is never done. And she will turn and head back over to uh, to where there are still people lining up to give a grand eye stories. So with that, where do you head? Any preferences? Just any? Where do you, where do we want to go? Well, the, the luck trend's right here. Like. It's like let's just let's just do it. Oh, sure. To the shrine. Look, plus <laughs> luck is important. So. All right. It'd be nice if Tamara smiled on us for once. Perhaps if many of these problems are because efficiency, of the efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. luck shrine being desecrated. Ooh. This sure seems like a string of bad luck. Mm. Heading north, you head toward the Shrine of Luck. Once a striking cairn of colorful rocks and offerings to Tamora, this shrine now looks precarious. You see two figures attempting to move some of the shrine's larger rocks. The elf, Sister Gariel, and a human girl of no more than ten years old that you'll recognize as Tamara Stonehill, the daughter of the local uh, Stonehill family. They are struggling as they're trying to clear rocks away. What do you do? We should probably go help them. Hello there. Hello. Hello. Oh, hi. Mm -hmm. well, what happened? As... Well, the shrine fell over. It's true. I was coming up this morning with my mom to do our morning sh our morning prayers, and as we were coming over, it fell over. As you were coming over, did you see anything? Um. Other than it falling over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything the, the suspicious? Three, yeah, there were like three li three little little things, like 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 halflings, but like oh, sorry, um, but like but, hey. but, but but they were little like you, but like smaller. I guess like gnomes. I guess gnomes are... I've never met a gnome, but like... They're usually smaller. They were like... Uh, it was... Uh, they were... They were, um... Knocking over uh, uh, stuff and running away. They were They were kind of... It was kind of dark, but I think they were kind of green or brown. Mm -hmm. So you said this was in the morning? Mm-hmm. What time? Um, like before sunrise, after sunrise? Good well, investigations. We, we we do this first thing in the morning today. We do the first first thing in the morning every day. We come out here and make our prayers. It helps the business. 
Of course. Uh, was the sun up when you came over? Uh, just a little bit. We do it at dawn. Okay, perfect. Oh. Uh, did you see which way they went? Um, all around. It was kind of hard to follow. The, um, I mean, the whole place was falling in on itself. They had like a big, a big, a big, 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 um, a rock in their hand. I guess, I mean, it wasn't that big for, for me, but like it was big for them. Like about, and she holds up her hands. Oh, that's pretty it big. Is. Came and knocked everything over. Yeah. Sister Gara will kind of look around and say, I was out on an assignment. She gives you a knowing wink and kind of gestures at the pin on her cloak and uh, gives you a, a wink as she looks at her Harper pin. So I wasn't able to see this, but when I arrived, it was already like this. This is terrible. This type of desecration cannot stand. We're the only source of religion inside of this town. And this town could use a little bit of luck. Yeah, it seems around, like... Like with investigation looking for tracks? Yeah, you absolutely can. Um, so, uh, if you want to look around, make me a uh, make me an investigation check. Uh, 17. 17. So, wandering around the area, you are going to see that among the rubble is a broken mining pick. It's kind of shattered right at the haft, and you can see that there are a couple of other things in the surrounding area. Small, hastily made footprints leading down a nearby alley, kind of to the north, uh, as well as the glint of an axe embedded in the wall of one of the nearby buildings to the north. Hmm. I'm going to go look into that. Sounds good. So if you head that way, um, what's everybody else doing? I think Lyric is sort of looking around, trying to figure out what she can do to be useful, but also is interesting. If she notices Alessandra wandering off, she might, like, tag along, or she'll just sort of look around to see if anything catches her eye. Can... Sindri, mm -hmm. are you or Anthea able to give me a hand? I know that you're pretty learned. Oh. Uh, about what? Uh, trying to get these stones back in alignment. Oh, it looks gosh. like they took the capstone, and without it, the entire thing is... As you can see, topsy-turvy. <gasps> Sindri, you left, yes. and I'll direct. Oh, all right, sounds good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I'm very small and very weak, but I know things. You're very strong. Oh, thank you. So I'll do the thing. Thank you. So uh, to get in there and start moving things around, Cindy, you can make me uh, a survival, religion, or acrobatics check. Ooh, acrobatics, you say? Yeah, to not get crushed by stones. Uh, and Theo, what do you mm -hmm. think would be a good helping role for this? Um. Like architecture? No, just kidding. Cool. Do you have um, that? Are you proficient? No, that's not a thing. No, oh, you should probably work on that. I know. It's a write-in. Um. <laughs> yes. Um. No, for reals though. Twenty-six. Uh, oh, you don't even need my help. I was thinking investigation, but investigation. Yeah, go ahead and make me an investigation roll. Yeah. 14. Okay, so 14. So you can give Chris advantage on his 27. Yeah! 26. It would be 27 if I got the 20. So okay. I got... I, and my next, my next roll was a 14, so that's actually in line. Alignment, so... Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, so as you are looking around, you are going to be able to tell... And Thea, just looking at this, it looks absolutely like... like um, like uh, Lady Garel is correct. Lady Garel, uh, Sister Garel is correct. It looks like the centerpiece of the shrine's archway was taken, um, and without something replacing it, the entire thing just crumbled. Um, 
but as you are, are kind of like observing it, you're thinking, yeah, that was probably a lodestone. Um, mm -hmm. But you didn't really pay attention to what that stone was the last time you visited. Uh, however, mm -mm. as you are kind of working your way around their Sindri, um, you are going to be able to like start putting some of the stones back in order. It looks like it'll take a little while though. Do you want to make me another check? Uh, sure. Can I get the help? Or uh, is uh, Anthea able to help me with this one? Absolutely. Yeah, let's go. She can go. just keep guiding you. Hmm. Uh, 22. Okay. Oh, nice. So you think you're just about there. You just need to adjust a couple more things for stability. At this point, I'm kind of picturing that you kind of like have your back against some of the stones and you're kind of like doing a walk up the wall to kind of push the stones apart. Oh yeah, and like I'm, I'm certainly waiting for anyone to come look at, uh, come watch me do this, and immediately like throwing my poncho off dramatically over onto a wagon or something to complete the complete the work. Ooh, ah! I got a All fifteen. Right. A fifteen. All right. <laughs> to help. So as he's one. as he's holding it, um, you are going to find a rock that is the exact right size to put into that last space that you can walk over and hand him as he's kind of doing the back, like the uh, the Emperor's New Groove back brace. Uh, what <laughs> did you get you on your roll, Sindri? Sixteen for, for my last one. With sixteen, you can take the rock and kind of wedge it in, and it will not collapse on you and deal a ton of bludgeoning damage to you. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. You rock. One down. <laughs> All right. Meanwhile, to the north, um, um, Lyric and Alessandra, you are going to head up to the north and find that there is an axe embedded in the wall of the house immediately to the north here. It's right next to a wheelbarrow. And looking at this axe, you can see that it is, it's etched with runes. Do either of you want to make me a roll? I'd love I a history love check. I would love to do that. History. Okay, one sec. How's it 25? For a level 5 module, probably decent. Uh, let me just check my notes. Uh, that's almost twice the difficulty. Um, oh, no, that's not... It's pretty good, pretty good. Uh, looking at this, you are... Uh, do either of you speak Dwarven, by chance? Nope. Okay, and Alessandra? You do not? Uh, no. So, at the very least, you can tell that they are Dwarven runes, and looking at them... Lyric, you're going to recognize that these are... These are... This axe is a Duragar axe. How Which... familiar am I with Dorgar in the, like, where they tend to live? Oh, uh, they tend to live underground. They tend to be kind of, kind of jerks. And, um... This is kind of weird. Yeah, they're, ki they're like, you know, kind of, depending on who you, uh, who you take it from, they're kind of, uh, evil dwarves. Hmm. When's the last time you heard of Dorgar in this area? Oh, just in general. And you're asking this of uh, Sister Garo? Well, I was mostly going to look over at Alessandra. <laughs> Be like, huh, that's weird. It's also weird. That is kind of odd. I thought this is something about goblins. Hmm. hmm. And I don't have any idea whether goblins and Dorgar tend to ally with each other or anything? Generally not. I mean, the Dorgar are... They could use the goblins as um, as minions or pawns, maybe. Mm -hmm. But that's a little unusual, aside from the fact that they both can sometimes come from cavernous environments. Like, there's, there's no real reason for the two of them to mix. Strange. Um, s sister... Yes. Sorry. Um, have you seen any Dorgar in the area recently? Uh, any Dorgar? The mm -hmm. Grey Dwarves? 
Um, uh, honestly, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen any of them ever. They're not mm. particularly common up here. I didn't think so. It's just that is, well, sort of their craftsmanship looks like. She's pointing at the axe. So perhaps it's stolen, or we've got some visitors coming up from the depths somewhere. Maybe. And as you say that, you're going to hear a voice cheerily call out, Hello! Sorry! A cheery voice calls out, and you see a dwarven woman clad in blue robes waving to you from the road, just uh, that kind of winds down around the Shrine of Luck, coming into town. Her forearms are marked with numerous tattoos of sigils drawn in white ink and slung across her back is a leather satchel brimming with books, scrolls, and other implements. Uh, Lyric, you have the scholar background. I would like you to roll me a d20. Sure. Okay. That's the same as the sage background, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. Okay. D20. 17. Um, you have actually met this person before during your time at Candlekeep. And what is their name? Do I remember uh, that? It is Gwyn or Song. Gwen or Gwyn? Gwyn. Gwyn with a Y. Okay. Like Gwendolyn. Mm -hmm. But only Gwyn. Um, uh, she is a dwarven scholar uh, who works out of Neverwinter um, and was, had has been up and down the coast doing like research and has been to Candlekeep. Um, <laughs> you've like, met her in ca like casual passing. Um, she looks over, he goes, Sorry, I, I'm a bit lost. Um, I'm trying to find my way to the Stone Hill, and I heard you talking about something regarding um, Doraga. <laughs> Lyric's just like, as, the, as, the, as Gwyn is talking, he's just like, sort of like, hand up, pointing at the axe. <laughs> she leans forward and pulls her, her glasses down her nose. And, ah, that'd be an axe, all right. Indeed, it would be a not the type of axe you'd usually see around here. At least not the make. What type of axes do you normally see? Not ones made by Durgar. I suppose so not. Um, well, do you have a Durgar infestation here? I haven't heard anything about that from my sister. Oh, but then again, we haven't really talked in a while because she hasn't really made it at Neverwinter since she took over as the bartender down at the Stone Hill. But uh, since uh, we haven't really been in communication, do you? Wait, do I know you? You look familiar. You kind of stand out like a sore thumb out here, being being like a pale white tiefling. I think I just have one of those faces. The, an albinoed tiefling face? Are they that common around here? Not particularly, but if you've seen me and we've met, then you, I'm relatively memorable, I think. But yes, we've met. Ah, fair enough. Um, it, Candlekeep, briefly. Oh, I did spend a couple of summers in Candlekeep doing research. I'm a scholar of antiquities. I actually specialize in in, in my people's history and uh, the the history of um, well, past empires and you know the. Mm -hmm. The rise and fall of Dorvan, it's, it's, my thesis is quite involved. It probably wouldn't interest you, but I mean, it is pretty interesting. But I'm also really fascinated. I heard you talking about goblins. Actually, I'm really fascinated mm. with goblin culture. Did you know that some goblin tribes mate for life? The entire tribe? Ah, it's Who's really strange. It's just, it's quite messy. You know, it does mean the next generation yeah. has to be very carefully vetted when it comes time for mating. Then again, goblins don't suffer as many problems from inbreeding as the rest of us do. Perhaps they've already inbred. Do you think that, yeah, maybe they were much taller before and uh, maybe much smaller okay. before. Maybe its size is a mutation. Wouldn't that be funny if goblins were about this big originally and they oh, actually be kind of terrifying. Then they'd be able to get into your house way it's easier if they're like mouse holes. Anyway. Um, anyway, sorry about that. I, I I think I'm rambling. Um, a little bit. Uh, if you want, um, if you find anything else Durga related, I'd be more than happy to take a look at it for you. So far, that's the only thing we've found. And it's sort of sticking out like a sore thumb. Oh. Uh, well, I'll be staying at the Stone Stone Hill 
Uh, today, which way is it? Uh, it literally go like around and it's just across the street. Like it's literally right there. It's over there with the big sign. Oh, the one with the sign that says Stonehill Inn. Mm. I thought it was a clever ruse. I mean, it could be, but no, no my, in this case, it is actually... my spectacles were dusty. Sorry, um, I feel like quite a fool now. Um, anyway, pleasure to meet you again. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm Gwyn, Lyric. Gwyn or Song, and you're mm -hmm. Lyric. Just Lyric. Are, Lyric, are you, um, are you lot? Um, oh look, they're rebuilding a shrine over there. Something happened mm -hmm. to it got knocked over apparently we wanted we were out of town and we came back and it was a sort of fuss i don't want to disparage anybody's shrine but this is why dwarven shrines hold up better we use mortar you know a little bit of cement a little bit of enforce it I, you, I mean we don't just stack things up i mean i guess it is a shrine of tamora yes you just kind of pray for the luck that it won't fall on your head anyway i'm very sorry i didn't see you back there uh, the one with the axe there uh hello my name's gwyn Yeah, uh, you with the oh, glowing halo. Around. What axe? Oh, I have the axe now. Oh. The one where'd that the was axe? in the wall? Aye, right, where'd it go? I don't know. <laughs> I was listening to you and Lyric. Oh, well, a pleasure to meet you. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll, I'll get out of your hair. Uh, sorry to bother you. Not at all. How, how are you bothering? Alessandra just looks very confused at this point. Oh, because it doesn't no. seem like you want to communicate your name to me, so I feel like I kind of intruded on this situation where you don't really want to communicate, but I but then again, I, I got a touch of the social anxiety. Oh, well, you said the one with the axe, and I didn't understand who you're talking to, so... But didn't you have the axe a moment ago? No, it was in the wall. But didn't you take it out? No. Oh, it's still right there. Sorry, I thought I thought you were holding it in your hand. <laughs> so I thought you were talking about somebody else. Oh. No, I was talking about you. I'm Alessandra. Alessandra, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Gwen. Um, it's uh, uh, Gwen Orsong, and uh, um, it, it's just I'm gonna I'm gonna go now. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, and then she's nice going to turn you. around and bump directly into uh, her sister Garel and go, oh, shite. Sorry. Oh, sh I shouldn't say shite in front of a priestess. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty spicy language. <laughs> Sorry. I've never heard anything like it. Sorry. 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 You're what? fine. You're fine. Yeah, you're okay. Yeah. Oh. No uh, harm. Sindri, pleased to meet you. And she's going to kind of like reach up and like, she's going to shake your hand if you pro offer it. Uh, but can I get an insight roll off of you and Anthea? Anthea, I'm going to say yours is with disadvantage because I know your character. That's fair. Uh, 16. 16? Oh, yeah. um, what's, what do I add to insight? Oh, 11. So she looks over your shoulder and like goes, oh, it's uh, nice to meet you as well. And then just kind of like turns and like looks at Anthea and goes, hi. It's hi. Nice to meet you as well. Oh, it's nice to meet you. I'm Anthea. She'll clasp her hand with both hands. I like your hair. Uh, thanks. I don't get that often. I like your hair, too. It's just a big brown mess, but uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I should probably it's be getting yours. to this. It's yours. It's perfect. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, oh, uh, yeah. could I have my hand back, please? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I got a little distracted. Alessandra is going to share a look with Lyric. <laughs> And uh, the dwarf is going to go, ha, ha, and then just rush away. Oh, have a good day now. Oh, you too. Ah, oh, thanks. Too pretty. We'll try. Odd. Okay, well, we fixed it. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, what the fuck was that about? 
Yeah, why was she scurrying this way so quickly? Sindri, you got a vibe off that? Yeah. You think you're you're getting the vibe of uh bisexual anxiety. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was like <laughs> like um mm, okay. Uh you know what actually? I'll tell you later. I think I figured oh. it out. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, we'll talk about it at the Stone Hill. Sure. sure. Yeah, we'll meet there for drinks later. Okay. Yeah. She rushes into the front of the Stone Hill. Um, Tamara is going to approach you and say, Wow, it looks even better than before. I didn't expect it to get fixed that fast. I mean, I had some good guidance. Thank you, material. It's pretty good. Sindri will, like, give a low five for Anthea. Yeah. So, um, I heard when 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 those little things took knock this thing down, I I I heard them giggling. Like they were like talking in a really weird language that was like beep 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 beep. beep. Was it like oh. Briark? Briark. Yeah. It was kind of like that. <laughs> they might have well. even said Briark? Briac? They Brie tend Larson? to say Briark. You're getting very good at that, Sindri. Yeah, we've heard really it So maybe you should study. You should study goblin, maybe. We probably should. Yeah. If they were goblins. What? So why did the garb the the goblins take the um the the the, the black stone? The there was black a, it was stone. Yeah, the one the one there points to the one that's been replaced. It used to be oh. um. Well, it used to be um, like this really shiny, shimmering, um, like kind of like an oil slick black stone. Oh, intriguing. Mm hmm. Probably because it's shiny. Oh. Guess. Uh... I can see why they picked it. They, they, hmm. th it was assembled from all sorts of different stones from all across. Everywhere. I heard that dwarf talking about how, you know, you should put mortars in, but that's kind of against the point here. It's supposed to be representative of all of the surrounding area. Wow, you're very knowledgeable. Uh, I like Tamora. She's my goddess. Oh, that's very nice. Thanks. Uh... She kind of rubs her foot into the ground anxiously. <laughs> Uh, uh, Sister Garel, do you know about the black stone? It was quite beautiful. It looked almost, um, almost like obsidian. If you've ever seen that, um, very I shiny. Have, that's gorgeous. It was really quite, cool rocks. Quite beautiful. I don't think there was any more significance to that, but still, I would. It'd be great to have it back. And as she's saying this. You are going to hear to the north a goat bleat loudly. In protest. And that then doesn't you're going sound to healthy. hear. Healthy. No! Oh. Not again! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Where's so this? You... Where's this? Uh, <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> Play this. <laughs> All right. So, pardon me one sec. Douche. And douche. I need a goat. One sec. Goat. We absolutely fucked ourselves by not picking goblin. Like truly, so funny. It's incredible. I love it. So you can you can learn goblin during some downtime, I'm sure. All right. So uh, rushing up to the north, you can hear the sound of a goat in protest right now as three goblins, uh, one of which is riding a goat, uh, is trying to get this goat to uh, to continue moving. Uh, it looks like they've stolen it. And are trying to uh, to ride it out of town, just to the north, next to the smithy. 
and they are screaming and yelling at it. Go, go, go. Absolutely not. Would you like to roll initiative? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay, I'm going to roll for the goat. The goat got a nat 20. Yeah. It is the goat. Okay, and all the goblins rolled the same thing, which is pretty weird. All right, so top of the initiative, let's do it. Starting with, oh my god. Wait, just remind me, does Jack of all trades apply to yeah. initiative rolls as well? It okay, does. then. Wild. 18, I think? Or no, sorry, 21. All right, so. 21. Sorry, I lied. Che <laughs> checking Words. the initiative, we have the goat, followed by a combination of. Oh, oh so we have Lyric, who is tied with the goat. Uh, then we have Sindri. Then we have uh, Goblin. 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 And Thea. And then we have uh, Alessandra. All right. Uh, the goat is going to struggle. And uh, is going to headbutt one of the goblins. And is not going to be able to headbutt one of the goblins. It was a valiant effort by the goat. Um... But actually, wait. AC. No. Uh, the goblin is not headbutted. Lyric, or, Lyric, it is your turn. Uh, can I see? I cannot see this from my. You angle. cannot see it directly, but you can hear it. You can hear it. Okay. Cool. I would love. Actually, you can see to... one of the goblins just a tiny bit. Kind of? Oh, there's like a shed thing there, so probably very obscured. You can see one of its feet. Uh, which means that I need to move first, I think, before I do much else. So let's go. Five, thirty. I guess it's up near the near the path. It is. It's up next to the smithy, which is the building with the with uh -huh. the uh, the furnaces on it. All right. And then, in terms of what I can actually do. I, think I, know how this I is would gonna love go. to double check what antagonize does. Whisper magical words that antagonize one creature of your choice within range. Target must make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, target takes 4d4 psychic damage and must immediately use its reaction to make a melee attack against another creature of my choice that I can see. If it can't okay. make this attack you know, because it's not within its reach, target instead has disadvantage on the next attack roll it makes before the start of my next turn. On a successful save, the target takes half as much damage. All right. So, what's my saving throw? And they can target one of them. I'm gonna target the one right in front of. I have an the eleven. One that's closest to me. That is definitely not enough. Uh, I'm pretty sure my save was like fifteen. Not as good as it could be, but still pretty good. Uh, so forty-four damage. Okay. Yep. This is hurt. Psychic. I hope so. That was the ho that was the whole point. So fourteen psychic. Oh God, fourteen psychic. How do you do it? Oh, uh, I think I just say <sighs> stupid goblins. Once again, and. Just utter some curses at them briefly, and uh, I guess instead of doing something useful like making it have a disadvantage or anything, I guess I just melt its brain. Uh, it is going to scream and fall to the ground, clutching its brain in agony. That's not how I thought that was going to go, honestly. Um, hmm. Uh, Sindri, do you mind? Bardic inspiration. <laughs> Right, oh, it's on. Uh, Cindy, you're up. <laughs> All right, let's, get, let's do this. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Monk things. Um, I'm going to make two unarmed attacks okay. on this goblin because we're good. fifth level now. Uh, does, a tw does a 25 hit? A goblin? Yes, it does. Yeah. And... That's going to be 11 points of uh, non-lethal bludgeoning damage. 
Okay, uh, that goblin is unconscious. How do you do it? Oh, I'm just gonna like uh, drop kick him off the goat. Meh. The goat gonna, will immediately like... turn around and use its reaction to uh, poop on him. Yeah. <laughs> Little pellets like, of I'll goat at... poop. Just. I'll look at the next one and say, "Just you're next." It screams and uh, it screams at you in goblin, and you think you kind of understand it. Say, "My goat." You're learning no, goblin not your slowly goat. but surely. Not your goat. Put that back where you found it. <laughs> All right. Are you going after that one too? Uh, actually, yeah. I can use uh my. Mm, I don't want to use my key points to dash, so. Uh, right, was that a full actually, 30 feet I'll, that you moved? Uh, that was 40. Uh, uh, yeah. But you know, I will, th I will throw a knife at this one. Okay, I just... Can. Can I, yeah. Can I do that? You can, absolutely up. can. Okay. Uh, and does a... God, math is hard. Uh, 18 hit? Yeah, it does. Uh, I don't think this counts as a monk weapon, but... How does six uh, points of... Uh, I'd say a knife counts as a monk weapon. When it's thrown? Yeah, I mean, like, my, monks throw knives. Yeah. Okay, I'll use a d6 then. Hew, 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 hew. That's another 11 points of piercing damage. Holy crap. Um, I, that, you can't do it non-lethally, though. <laughs> no, it just, like, straight into the forehead. <laughs> it's, so it's going to hit him in the head, and he's going to go, Shut for her? And is going to fall face first down, hammering it through the rest of his brain for a second. Can you make me an in check? Uh, <laughs> nope. Uh, that's a seven. A seven? Okay, cool. It, you have no yeah. idea what he said, but for the audience at home, he said, <laughs> stupid human, now I have your knife. <laughs> and he's going to fall. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So as you do that, Sindri, anything else on your turn? Uh, no, I'm just going to high-five the goat. Give him a little, like, fist bump to the horns. All right. And as that occurs, down to the south, you are going to hear screams coming from the Stonehill Inn as five more goblins have begun running around with buckets they've pulled from the latrines and are pelting passers-by with, with shit. <laughs> And Anthea, what's your armor class? Let's find out. Uh, uh, I'm gonna spend a hurt them more. <laughs> oh boy, uh, I'm gonna say the goblins are proficient in shit. Um, <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Uh, that's gonna be a 19 to hit you. Uh, that's gonna hit. All yeah. right, one of them dressed in a cowl is going to rush forward, cackling, and is going to go poopy and is going to throw it directly at you. Uh, can you do oh. me a favor and make me a con save? Oh, yeah. Uh, I rolled an 18. Okay, uh, you're going to take three points of bludgeoning damage. It's 23. Okay. And, but will not be sickened. Nice. I mean, maybe emotionally. Probably. Uh, you know. Nah. You probably had worse. All right. Uh, that is the first one. I'm sorry, Caitlin. The, the module gives you okay. poop, not me. Um, the next one is going to rush forward with the bucket and attempt to pour it on the shrine. Uh, I'm going to do oh. a something good happens to say that Sister Garael is going to see this happening, is going to interject herself in front of it. Uh, but unfortunately, it's a bucket of poop. Must better hurt more on that. And that's going to be enough that Sister Garael's uh, white outfit and symbols of Tamora and her beautiful Harper's Cave are suddenly covered in muck. Uh, and she is going to be knocked to the ground. Uh, with that, uh, then it is one more goblin's turn. Uh, another goblin is going to see the trouble that has happened to the north. And, ooh, I messed my map up. One sec. Burr, 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 burr. Oh, there we go. Uh, and is going to rush up. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 
and is going to try to throw some muck at Sindri. Uh, Sindri, uh, does an 18 hit you? 18 hits me. Cool. I'm going to spend a drama bomb to say that you fist bump the goat and then you're going to hear Briark over your shoulder <laughs> and turn just in, so in time to get it in the eyes. You're going no. to be blinded next turn. Can you please make me a con no. save? Uh, that is a 20. A 20? All right. You're not sickened, but you will be blinded for next round. Uh, and that is going to be three points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, goblins! Uh, whenever you run goblins, put some Pathfinder energy into them, folks. Uh, Anthea, it is your turn. Oh, that's not very nice. Ugh. Just gonna shake it, shake some off. Um, I wasn't looking at what I was gonna do because I wasn't thinking about it. I'm actually just gonna do a firebolt. Firebolt. That's, that sounds great. At the one that the one that got you, yeah. Yeah, I mean fair. Hit him back in kind. Oh, that's a sixteen. A sixteen is going to hit. Roll me damage. Nice. Okay. Now I just need to take a look. So I think at fifth level I get extra it does. damage. It's an nice. extra d10. Nice. All right. Perfect. I remember my rules, right? Right? Yeah. You do. You do. I'm very proud uh, of you. Oh, thank you. 13 points of damage. Okay. Uh, I am going to... Uh, how do you do it? Um, Probably... It's going to land in his bucket and just, like, blow it up. I'm going to spend a drama bomb to make that a giant explosion. Um, nice. Okay, uh, it's going to land in his bucket and the poop fumes are going to erupt. Uh, he is going to be blown oh, up. You're going to see a goblin leg fly across the street. Uh, the goblin head is going to go <laughs> and land on the wind, um, on the weather vane of the stone hill and just go <laughs> right through one of his eyeballs. Oh, now there's more gross around. Ugh. All right. And uh, anything else on your turn? Oh, uh, Squish. Squish is going to go, now get that one. And he's going to, and right. yeah, he's going to, oh, he's going to try to patoo at the one, uh, the one that um, tossed the bucket on Sister Gyro. All right, do it. Let's go, Squish. Let's go, Squish. Oh, that's going to be an 11, but. Does Squish have inspiration or determination from... You can use your determination on Squish. The last time? Oh, okay. I specifically got determination. Oh, that's true. Someone did buy him, buy him one last time. So, yes. Yeah. That is... 11 apply... A 14. A 14? It's not quite enough, unfortunately. It's okay. The, um, it, we, it is going to fire outwards, and the poop bucket is going to explode in his hands. And he's oh. going to turn and look at you. It's a puppy! Oh, that was a good try. Squish looks slightly upset that he didn't do it, but is also slightly happy that he made property damage happen. That's fair. Um, all right. Uh, Alessandra, it is your turn. All right. Um, would uh, th is a shrine kind of like built back up against the house, or it is? It is. Still... It is is not next to the house uh, specifically. Uh, hold on one sec. So There's it looks like space. it looks like this. So it, it is basically a, a freestanding cairn. Okay. Can I run through this space? Yes, you absolutely can run between the building and there. Okay. I'm gonna move up to here then. Okay. And attack this dude. All right, sounds good. Um, I want you to do me a favor. Um, mm -hmm. Fighting uh, that close to Sister Garael, I'm going to say that you have disadvantage because of the smell. Oh, okay. Nope. 
And no. <laughs> All right, on neither? Nope. All right, any of those ones? Nope, I would have told you. Okay, cool. All right, so rushing forward, you're going to take two swings, but the stench coming off of Sister Garael is so offensive that it makes your eyes sting. All right. Uh, to the south, there are two more goblins that are going to... Uh, one, two, three. That's going to be Anthea and Anthea. Uh, both of them are going to rush forward and start pelting Anthea again because she seems undeterred and just blew up one of their friends. So Anthea, uh, eh, you know, I'll spend a hurt them more. I got, I got tons of them. Uh, Anthea does a 15 hit you. Okay, so just loads, handfuls of muck start going past you uh, and start like making the area around you a bit slippery. So you are going to have rough terrain around you in a space of about 10 feet that's just crap everywhere. Oh, that's unfortunate. It is very unfortunate. All right, top of the initiative. It is the goat's turn. Uh, the goat is going to... The, the goat is going to look at this and is going to go, meh, and is going to try to charge the one that is directly to the south because it's kind of pissed off with goblins. Uh, okay, it succeeded its dex, che dex check to run on poop uh, and is going to run up to the goblin and make an attack. Uh, it is not enough, so it's gonna go eh, and is going to try to headbutt, but will not be able to. Lyric, it is your turn. Sure is, and things have moved, but I do see one goblin near that goat. You do. Can I give the goat bardic inspiration? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna spend it. I'm giving it to the goat. All right, That's what do you say to the action. goat to give it bardic inspiration? Just ram him. Get him. All right. I mean, that works. Um, good, good goat. You got him. Decisive nod at the fellow horned creature. Uh, and is going to move into the... Uh, not right into the line of fire, but to have a better view of the goblin. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna try and shoot it with my crossbow, I think. Alright, sounds good. Yeah. So, to do that, all I need is roll a d20. Oh my god, I can't pick things up with my gloves. Uh, that's a 9. It's not good. Uh, a nine will not hit. I'm sorry. All right, your crossbow is going to fire out uh, and arc off next to where this goblin is standing. Uh, do you have anything else that you can do? Mm, I could move more, but I'm not going to. I'll already use bonus action for bardic inspiration to the goat. Okay. And, All yeah. right. Sindri, it is your turn. All right. I'm going to use my action to take the poop off my face. Okay. Uh, and then go you... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. All right. I'll say and that you flank. no longer have the blinded condition. Thank you. So that's going to be my turn. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to reposition and get get the poop off me. And I just like like wipe it off and fling it at the goblin that just like... It, I'm now flanking with the goat. <laughs> goat and me oh, square it up. Give the flank flanking bonus to the goat. Um, We're going right. to do the persona style beatdown attack. All right. The goblin that is uh, flanked by you is going to uh, is going to reach in and take a swing at you with this bucket. So it is proficient in bucket. Uh, I'm going to spend a hurt them more because I have like 50 of these right now. I'm going to spend a hurt them more because I have like 50 of these right now. Uh, that bucket sure does swing at you. Uh, it actually goes whoom, 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 and swings a couple of times uh, directly at you. Can I slap it over his head so it dumps poo on him? No. no. Okay. You can turn next round, next round. 
Sh dramatic effect. For dramatic effect, um, it is just sloshing everywhere though. But uh, but no, you uh, you you didn't. You don't have any more actions this turn. Um, okay, uh, the goblin that was fighting Sister Garael uh, that had its bucket destroyed uh, is going to look at. Um, uh, look at you, Lady Alessandra, and is going to go Shabubi! and is going to uh, do an opposed athletics check to knock you over into the mire. Because you look like a frail girl. This is going to be very easy. Oh, actually, it might be easy. What am I rolling? Uh, you're rolling uh, an athletics check to not be knocked over. Uh, that is... Athletics, where's my athletics? Uh, 14. Would you like to spend determination? Sure. Let's do okay, that. Cool. What does that bring you to? 18 or 17? 17. Okay. Uh, so, he grapples you, but is not able to knock you over. So, basically, he's got his hands on you and is kind of like, Aah! and is trying to, like, throttle you into the muck. Uh, but you rolled the same thing as him then, so that was pretty good. Okay, that is Goblin and Goblin. And uh, then it is Anthea's turn. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Ah, there were some coming from kind of southeast. So we're going to aim in that direction. Okay. And let me see. Could I get the both of them with... Uh, Tasha's Caustic Brew? Uh, Tasha's Caustic done. Brew is a line. It's a line. Yeah. So, unfortunately not, because they're not in a row. Okay. Unless you went 5, 10, 15, 20, uh, 25. Now you're just too short. You're just too, yeah. you're just too teeny. No, that's okay. It's also, uh, rough terrain. Oh, that's so... true. Uh, you and Switch could, or you and uh, not Switch, uh, you and uh, Squish could team up to like blast them, though. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do that instead. Um, okay, I'm just gonna try again with my fire bolts. I believe in you. Thank you. And hacha! Oh, that's pretty good. Twenty-one. Uh, that's gonna hit. Roll me damage. Yeah. Hacha! Oh gosh, that's gone. Oh no, there it is. Uh, that's 15. <laughs> uh, 15? Uh, do you want to take a... How does it go? Uh, that one's going to... Instead of exploding, it's just kind of going to light. Because he's probably been throwing it around. He's probably got some on oh, yeah. him. Yeah, she's he's, covered yeah, in it. She's covered in it. He's, uh, she, it's going to light her on fire. It's, it's hard to tell, looking at a goblin, what it, what it is. Especially when they're covered in poop. But it's true. Yeah. Okay, you get the next one. And she'll direct Squish to try to do at the other one. Two. All right. Squish. Oh, no, that's even worse, Squish. That's only a 10. <laughs> that's okay, right, so that's okay. You're trying gonna, your best. All right, it's going to fire at that one. And Alessandra, we are at your turn. Uh... All right, Alessandra, you have become mm -hmm. acclimatized to the smell of poop. Uh, we'll no longer have disadvantage. Okay. Because I'm not going to spend hurt the moors to make it continue. Uh, that will be 21 to hit. Uh, 21 to hit is good. Uh, this goblin is kind of grappling you by like the uh, by like the the greaves, and is trying to force you down. So you've got a great shot, just like whacking him in the head. Yep. All right, give me damage. Uh, that is nine damage. How do you do it? Um, I think just totally smacking him. Like, just kind of like, fine. Leave her with the wrists. <laughs> All right, cool. The blade or the pommel? Uh, I'm going for blade. Okay. Uh, there are now two goblins grapp grappling with you. Wait, well, two? Well, two oh. half goblins. <laughs> All right, shake him off, and He's I'm going to move up to, to the ground. this dude. Can I split the whole, like, extra yep. attack? Absolutely. Cool. Because it's kind of confusing sometimes the way it's worded. You the, can take the you absolutely it twice can. with one attack action. 
Uh, you charge the one to the south, and as you do, it's going to say, Oh, shit! Uh, well, I rolled a 15, and I add 8 to it, so... Okay, that will that will work. 23? 23 is a hit. Roll me damage. Uh, 13. How do you do it? I think I just, like... You know what? That previous goblin needs a dance partner that can actually match up with them. Uh, so half goblin again. All right, you bisect the goblin uh, the long way, and that is going to be the end of this turn. Top of the initiative, uh, the goat is going to go and is going to level its head at this goblin and is going to spend that bardic inspiration. Incredible. Remember what my motive potential does. Uh, I oh, that's going to be an absolute head. That's a, that's a base nineteen with the uh, with the bardic. I rolled a two. So it should be two points of the monster. Uh, a goblin needs to succeed a Constitution save against fifteen, or it takes the two fu thunder damage. Constitution save of fifteen. Uh, it will take the thunder damage. It takes two thunder damage then. If that's okay, what you so said, two, you the so two thunder damage plus the goat dealing. Uh, it's ram does three points of damage, so that's three points of damage, four points of damage, five points of damage. Uh, it is going to smash this goblin directly in the ribs. The goblin's going to spew up blood as this go goes. Meh. Uh, and lyric, it's your turn. Good job, goat. Meh. Um, I'm just double checking this to make sure. Uh, does the goat also attempt to hit Sindri with the, the two thunder, just to be sure, because it's within five feet of the enemy? Oh, I guess it would then, yeah, because, well, I mean, he doesn't know how to use it. He's yeah, a goat. So uh, Sindri, make me a con save, please. I got two, so I take two points of thunder damage. You do. Sorry about that. Ow! So you're gonna... <laughs> oh, that's what that feels like. Causing collateral Bad. damage. All right. Um, so, Lyric, what are you doing? Uh, in that case, I'm just going to do a uh, vicious mockery against the one with that the goats was headbutting. Okay, here we go. Uh, that's a wisdom save, if I'm not mistaken. And mm -hmm. goblins are supremely wise. Uh, so I rolled an 11. That is not going to be enough, but let me just make sure that that is correct. And don't forget you're level 5, so the cantrip has gone up. Ooh. Vicious Mockery is... I believe it's now 2d4. It sure is 2d4. Must succeed a... Yeah, wisdom save or take 2d4 and have disadvantage on the next attack roll it makes for the end of its I don't think I don't think we have to worry oh. about that, but let's find out. Okay. Uh, three because I rolled a two and a one. Uh, well, a goblin has about about seven hit points. Um, so between you and the goat, uh, how do you do it? What is the insult that destroys the goblin? You absolute clown! <laughs> Disgusting little maggot. Me? <laughs> Clowns. <laughs> Uh, and he will have a heart attack and will slump over Sindri. Yeah. Yeah. Gross. So gross. You okay? And you're going to start walking over. I am fine. I'm covered in poo. It's also stink. Yeah. Are we still in combat rounds? We are not still in combat rounds. The rest I of you catch your breath. I would on Perfect. Sindri. Press digitation. It's going to just, it's like, it's like a, a very cold shower. Just washes away uh, the stink. Thank you. Sindri will walk over and like grab the goblin that he knocked out and yeah. his dagger back. Thank and you. just like dr drag him by the foot. I'm trying to... Secure Alice? the goat. <laughs> Alessandra will come over to Lyric and be like, 
Can you get where he touched me? Oh, that's... Yeah, of course. Thank you. <laughs> and Thea's gonna look at all the muck all around her and just... How? It's everywhere. You'll hear Sister Garrel say lying on the ground in a pile of muck. Um, who's Skish? Go. Is this Skish? Skish. Skish. <laughs> Skish. Too, please. Hello, Sandra will come back and help Thea over. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, I'll just press your digitation, everybody. She's just gonna reach out to you if you don't, so you're getting hit if you don't. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. <clears throat> oh, oh, sorry. Okay. Thanks. Just maybe stay over there, over there for a moment until I can, you know, do this. Oh. Uh, thanks. It's the smell, though. And can I? I'm gonna oh, try wait. and. I have I a thing. Try and do the goat. You're gonna try to what? The goat. Yeah. What about her? I wanna try and catch it, secure it. Make me an animal handling roll. I was thinking I was gonna go after it with like a rope. Like oh, cool. you can make me a uh, you can make me an attack roll with a lasso. You're a bard. You probably have lasso Four. proficiency. Only for stage performances. Mm -hmm. um, you took that stage combat the... class at, at Candlekeep. So that would just be like a dexterity check. Yeah. With proficiency, maybe. Sure. Okay. Oh, nice. In that case, that is a twenty-two. Okay, you're going yeah. to lasso the goat, and the goat is going to look at you with this look of betrayal as the lasso I goes around it. Sternly. Good try. You did good, but probably should get home. Make me an animal handling roll with disadvantage. I'm going to spend my determination. Okay. <laughs> to make that a 13. The goat's going to glare at you and is going to start trying to eat the rope. <laughs> no. Stop. Mm -mm. Meh. Stop that. Meh. Don't make me wood bit you. I've got horns too. It kind of launches itself at you. She's like glaring, like like narrowed eyes. It's narrowing How its eyes at it? you. It like, is a is full like sized a... goat. Okay, so not a pygmy goat, but like a full size, like, like a, a full size okay. goat. Like like this goat is looking at you, and it is just like it it wants to fight. Okay, I will attempt to lock horns. I guess. Oh my god. Okay, cool. Make me a contested <laughs> athletics check with the goat. to hurt them more on this because I need this. There we go. <laughs> um, athletics? Athletics, yeah. Contested strength plus athletics, please. Uh, that is Dirty going to be... 20. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, I have two, two plus two to athletics plus I've got the jack of all trades plus I rolled a 17. Okay. How do you do it? The goat what? rolled a 14. Headbutt, rope, just locking together. This is a, a struggle for dominance until it backs off. Uh, it, it, you're going to basically like tip it onto its ass. And it's going to look up at you with this new reverence. You have proven yourself the greater horned being. Figured there were goats where she grew up. Maybe her family had a few of them. This like, yeah, small had, town yeah. kind of thing. It's probably she didn't even think about this. You probably had to do this for like festivals. Probably. Congratulations! Here you go. And while Lyric was doing all of this, Anthea was quickly whipping out her mortar and pestle that she keeps on the go, 
and like crushing up some flowers and nice smelling herbs and stuff and basically made like a mask like a plague doctor mask and is just gonna shove it right in Lyric's face uh here you put it on your ears immediately what what's in it and do i sneeze immediately (laughs) oh that's a great question i think that needs a con save or something (laughs) oh yeah give it to me because flowers and pollen so okay Mm, okay that's not too bad that's a 15 i don't think it's just like you're fine oh no they smell nice okay so you just started you just started me Oh, sorry. Um, but thank you. you were complaining about the smell, so uh, it smells nice. Try it. Uh, thank you, Anthea. That's very thoughtful. Um, what do we do with it? Try it. You put it around your ears. It's like a face covering. It smells nice. You breathe good air. Is it... She'll put it on. <laughs> Oh, thank you for trying it. Not everybody tries my things. I really appreciate it. It's certainly unique. I haven't seen something Thanks. like this before. I think it's nice. Mostly the sure. people where I'm, most people just get the little sachet things and stick them around and pretend that that's enough. Yeah, that's but not. then you can't, you have your hands free. Mm-hmm. See, I can do whatever I want. She's gonna like put one on herself too. Ta-da! Clever. Meanwhile, as you're doing that, <laughs> Ella and Sindri, what are you both doing? I'm holding up a goblin. I'm not quite sure what to do. There's probably more of them. That's a good we point. Can use this- we can use this one as bait. For them to come laugh at? Or we can throw them in jail and wait for the rest of them to round up and question them later. Ugh. Uh, Good uh, question. Hey, buddy. Uh, hey, friend. Five more minutes. Ella okay. is going to lay her sword next to his neck, like the flat side, so it's cold. Ah, okay, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Uh-oh. How many of you are there? And I think that is the moment we're going to take a quick break. Uh, So folks, don't (laughs) go anywhere. We'll be back in just a moment. everybody welcome back this is the part of the program where we're going to talk to each other but also you unless you're watching on youtube later in which case we're talking directly at you right now that's right bill talking about you there's one guy named bill who's freaking out right now how the fuck did he know my name how did you know my name (laughs) i know you bill the same thing with you jimmy And Caroline. Yeah. Statistically, you know, like. So I I am obsessed with this dice that I bought. I, I backed like this Kickstarter for like weird dice. I already showed it off once, but like I love this thing. Look at it. It's a stress ball dice in like trans pride colors, which are also just like it it's so it like Chris, have you seen this before? Did I show it on Fandelver? Okay, cool. I love Last it. Week. 
Oh, I did do it last week. Yeah. Oh man, I made a faux pas. I um, I got a comment on the newest episode of Arcos where they're like, "Hey, you know you spoiled this episode in Fan Delver because you posted this late." And I'm like, "I know. I'm a, I'm a fool." Oh, yeah, I saw, oh, I saw that no. comment. I was like, "Oh, I didn't even think of that. That's a it's good." It's because point. I forgot to hmm. upload it last week because I was exhausted and I'm a fool and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um. So, uh, yeah. I want a goat familiar. Good evening, blind Jedi. Welcome. Uh, so, hey, everybody. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them right here. I also wanted to remind everybody uh, that if you are bored midday on Wednesday, come hang out with me. Uh, we did a lot of background creation on dwarves uh, for our World Building Wednesday. For my World Building Wednesday, come over to my clubhouse. Hang out with me. Uh, from 12 to around 3 on Wednesdays on Pacific Time. Uh, you can come hang out with me and you can, there's like all these like cool, like little chibi things that come across the screen of our characters that you get to embody. And like, you know, we just get, it's just a, just chat and like a me write. And it's kind of nice. It was, it was really popular this week. And I was very surprised. I was like, I'm gonna have like five people. It's gonna be great. And there were like 30 to 50 people just hanging out and like chatting. And I'm like, really great. So come co-work with me. If you just need that extra presence of someone with you to like get you some work done, it's a great way to do it. Um, I know our friend Tasha does it as well, but I'm, I'm, I'm stealing her people. There we go. Is it, it is on this channel. It is on this channel on our Twitch channel. So if you're watching on YouTube, uh, I'm not going to upload it to YouTube because it's literally a lot of like me just talking to, it, it's not YouTube comment. It's Twitch, it's Twitch content. So yeah, come, come hang out. It's, uh, oh. Or your, just skip your meetings just put it on the background um but yeah come it's it's world building we did a bunch of stuff i wrote actually i'm really curious how much did i write because i i went into it and i'm like oh man i didn't write very much and then i looked at it at the end and it was like i'm gonna check this real quick burp, 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 burp. i was i wrote for three hours and chatted for three hours and i was like this isn't that much but in reality it was Let's open up something with a word count. Um, how's everybody else doing today? You doing okay? Chris, you dropped everything down, everything. Christine, yeah. you you had work stress. Caitlin, you have a screaming toddler, well, almost toddler in the next room. This is true. This is true. He is now, checks, checks camera, probably asleep. <laughs> He's not screaming anyways. Wolf. He is asleep. <laughs> nice. And then Amy, how was your day? What'd you do? Did you just did the work? I did the work, but also a uh, potential new wig for Luella. Ooh. Ooh. I'll figure out how to do lace front. I think I can adjust where the part is. It looks like it'll Oh, nice. Nice. The side. Nice. But I was try I was worried it wasn't going to be the right type of blonde, but okay. I think this is it. I think it's close enough. Because Luella is like a very pale blonde, but not like... White, white. It's like, y yeah. It's like desaturated, oh. like ashy. I always thought it's like white gray on platinum. yeah on stream. Yeah, so hmm. I think this is pretty close, and I've somehow gotten well, everything. That's really up. cool. But anyway, I I'm I just ordered two new wigs last night myself. Yeah. Same. I ordered three new wigs and a set of contacts. <laughs> I was gonna order three wigs, and then Christine just gave me a wig she hated that I was about to order, so it worked out. Yeah. Because I was like, I need a wig in case I'm ever strawed again. And I have the one from Scion that I hate that hard hairline. I will never not buy one without bangs again because I just, hate I'll the just, way it makes my forehead look. I'll just paint a little I bit of this I understand. Peak. That's fair. So I need bangs. I really want Chris to run one night strawed. I oh. am actually looking at one night strawed. Oh. Uh, so it is. So uh, have we talked about one night strawed on this? We, we briefly, briefly. Yeah, uh, sixteen hour uh, condensed strawed campaign, uh, or two twelve hour sessions. Like you can do it in twelve if you do it like the condensed. That math doesn't like, work. Longer. Sixteen yeah. is not two twelves. What? What? Or no, it's a twelve hour session or sixteen. I think. So oh, okay. there's like ways to do it with two parties, but you can also do it like it's for it's really good for short campaigns or events. Oh. Uh, it is like basically take you're all level six. You run through it and basically one go um i'm looking at the online version because the the book itself is 500 pages uh for and i'm like 
this is more than like most campaign setting. This like, is like that's three settings. times the size of Straw, like Curse of Straw itself. It's only yeah. like 180 pages. Also, the art looks incredible. If you get a chance, um, here oh, I'll right. actually link it all on Twitch. Yeah, uh, this is great audio. Uh, uh, I would actually, I would definitely consider uh, running this for like uh, as a charity event. Um, mm -hmm. But I definitely will probably run it in person before I run it online just to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, that was my mistake. <laughs> I ran Curse of Strahd. It was like my first campaign that I ever ran on the channel, like a like module. That's not where you start. That Don't do it, guys. No. Don't do it in front of everybody. Because when you get to Ravenloft, there's 150 rooms. Yeah. And yeah, it's a yeah, nightmare. Yeah. yeah. It's like also like got... Uh... Uh, queer rep in it it's like a lot more inclusive uh it's still an inside probably i don't know i haven't i haven't picked it up yet because it is uh because i want to get the hardcover and it's 80 bucks uh oh, that's fair. so you know but as it should be because it is uh a hardcover premium product and also it's 500 pages and is it from uh drive through rpg or uh i linked it in it is in dm's guild mm, okay. uh yeah and that's canadian too so yeah, that's fair. That's uh, not terrible, actually. That's it's actually really great. not, considering... The... Well, the modules now are like, seven, like 60, 70 bucks. Yeah, it's true. Well, um, I recently picked up a copy of uh, Book of Book of Many Things, and it was 100, because it has a deck inside of it. Right. I, I like a lot of the things really in pretty. that book. Yeah. Yeah. I like a lot of things in the book, but um, I don't love the way it's structured. It's structured... Um, it's kind of funny i wonder how much they realized they did this or um or how much they borrowed the idea but uh amy you remember keys to the supernal tarot from age the ascension that book yes yeah they yes, structured it identically where every chapter is another card out of the deck huh it's a little okay. weird yeah so yeah. like there's a chapter on on the the dungeon the donjon and it mm. is like a chapter of them like it's a little like adventure in the donjon so mm. it's interesting that sounds cool it's interesting how uh, they would do it in a D, D setting versus a mage um well basically it's just that everything is its own card right like so it's it's kind of yeah. weird though because it divides up um i need to read it a little more closely maybe there's something i'm missing but like there are a couple of places where like new abilities or new new magic items are in several different chapters and i'm like i kind of would just like these all together yeah. you know like okay versus yeah. having them based on their context yeah oh. right um so other things that are interesting that are kind of happening in the tabletop world um have you guys heard much about daggerheart the new critical role I game no critical role yeah. made their own system Good thing. Uh, oh i remember uh, they were gonna so i've heard a bit about it i haven't looked into it myself so i can't actually say anything like usefully uh mm. i can say what like uh, and I'm not really, uh, like the, like the review I heard wasn't great. Did you hear uh, the one from, uh, D and D shorts? I think so. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah. I heard. Robin was filling me in about that today about how it was like, it's, it's free, but it's messy. Yeah. And like, I'm not surprised. I don't like, I don't expect Matt Mercer to be an expert game designer. I expect him to like be a great world builder and a great storyteller, but not necessarily like have mechanics or balance be his specialty. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of like my, I'm like, if the setting's good, the rules will follow. Uh, yeah, I, it looks interesting. And I'm curious to see how it goes. Yeah. It's an open beta. You can like, I've got a copy of it. Um, and I do like, I enjoy, I enjoy his stuff in his world building, right? Like it's, pretty enviable to see where he is in the tabletop like space i mean obviously mm -hmm. he's enviable he's it's him and like that's about it until you get to like brent brendan lee mulligan right and then like um yeah but i'm curious i'm curious yeah it looks like a just release so i'm sure they'll take feedback and mm -hmm. implement things well, i've got a copy of it i'm part of the open beta nice i'd mm. intended to run it on dork tales but we don't have any free time <laughs> what's free time i don't know what that is oh my god i know well i was gonna run Daggerheart, and then we had our brilliant ruin and then it was like oh. mm. well 
Uh, I, and I'd rather work for Our Brilliant Ruin because that was a sponsored game and you should all go watch it. Everybody go watch it. We're having a weird thing, actually, where um, I posted it. And this is really weird for us, so I'm just going to say it that way. Um, I posted it, and, like, for the first couple of hours, there were, like, five views on YouTube. And I'm like, well, that's not normal. So I don't know. I think YouTube changed something that night or adjusted mm -hmm. an algorithm setting or something. And it was, like... It felt like being shadow banned, right? Like, what, what's going on here, guys? Normally, we'd be at least 20, 30 times that. It's not the yeah, game. The game is fun. something up with the notifications on YouTube, because normally, yeah. like, we have our bot on our Discord that auto-pings mm -hmm. essentially when the notice to subscribers goes up. Yeah, but and it didn't go no out. I messaged you about posted, it. Yeah. Yeah, you and Random both did. And I was like, that's weird. So I just... Birthday boy like, Random Equinox? <laughs> it's Random's birthday? Yeah, that one. Happy no, birthday, it was Random's Random. birthday, but happy birthday, Random. Random. Happy birthday. Uh, happy birthday, birthday Random, because I missed it. You did. Yeah. Random's a great dude. Yeah. Um, One day we will... Yeah, uh, our Brilliant Rune is still on Kickstarter, and it even has a... Uh, they're approaching or have just passed the stretch goal where you get uh, coloring book sheets. Which is pretty, oh, that's pretty I great. Love. Oh, I love that. And I would, if you guys back our brilliant ruin, I need you to spam in the comments like buying this because of Dork Tales. Because if you do, maybe they'll like they're they're doing some other stuff soon that we might be able to participate in. So that would be great. Also, hi Raid, good to see you. Uh, oh, anything else? Because we're gonna hop back in the game in just one sec. We have to interrogate a goblin. I, I just think time. I have a wig fiber that's like poking my contact lens so it's not in my eye but it's uncomfortable ew i feel you my contacts are also fighting me i feel yeah. you notice me just like oh, really unpleasant oh. right now i'm just like mm, yeah let's blink a bunch that's true uh and yes this episode right. is just, not yeah. sponsored by this episode is sponsored by bookworm games um not by our brilliant ruin but it's a it's a fun game you should go check it out because they did sponsor us for a three-part and it was a lot of fun and you can expect my review of it pretty soon and we're here for the goat army. Yep. The Garmy? Uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, um, we got a lot of great stuff coming for you this year. I just want to tell you guys everything. I want to tell you everything, and uh, it's really hard because I want to share everything with you and get all of you guys as hyped as me, but then I'll, I'll just get overhyped. But I will say we only have one more piece of art um, from the sketch phase that we're waiting back for Vecna Eve of Ruin. And holy crap, the art is intense. Like, it's so good. Hold on, you, you want to know how good it is? Hold on, watch this. Uh, so, real quick, I'm going to watch their faces. And uh, I am going to... Uh, uh, I'm going to share the art with them so that you can see the look on their faces. All right? So to clarify, once, you mean you're going to share it with us so that the I'm going to share can it with the us? players on the stream right now so that okay. you can just go wait, what? You're just teasing. I'm just going to tease the audience. Keska, All right. So don't Keska hold anything back. What the heck is this? Heck. <laughs> so there, there are the two most recent pieces of art I have just shared with you. Also, hello, Raid. Good to see you. That's incredibly intricate. Right. Right. This artist is amazeballs. I'm waiting for things to load. Ooh, okay. Yeah. yeah dynamic posing. Right. I love it. Dynamic posing. I love that's dynamic not even the poses. That's not even colored. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah. uh... Patreon, you guys are gonna be you're gonna be on able to see all this art uh, in a couple weeks, uh, where I'm gonna post it and do a cast announcement. Also, we have solidified the cast for Descent into Avernus. It is all good, and it's it's gonna be weird, guys. It's gonna be weird. I'm gonna be very blue, dubba dee. Ooh, dubba die. Dubba dee, dubba die. All right, so uh, folks, I think it is time for us to head back into game momentarily. Uh, anything else? Uh, thank you, Lolly Gaggers, for the raid. Thank you earlier. I didn't shout it out, but thank you very much for the raid from Grimforge. Thank you for the raid from someone else raided us. I was up and I was distracted. 
but they were they were very handsome, whoever they were. Um, but thank you very much, lovely gaggers. Uh, anybody have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything else they want to say before we hop into game? All right. Then, without further ado, let's head back into Fandelver and Below, the Shattered Obelisk. Welcome back to Fandelver and Below. When last we left our heroes, Lady Alessandra had just placed a blade on the neck of an unconscious goblin. Roused to consciousness, the goblin goes, Huh? What? What? And you asked, tell me what you know? How many more are there? Uh, huh? What? No, no. Um, uh, uh, some. Many. Many, many. Goblins, like raindrops, descend from them. I guess I should just kill you then. One less. Make me an intimidation check, please. <laughs> Eighteen. Please don't kill! No kill! Grok, Grok, Grok tell you what's no, but Grok, Grok don't have much in his brain. Mark. I mean, same. Ella, Sandra will kind of, I think, just kind of wink at Sindri a little bit quietly to be like, okay. Uh, uh, Your turn. Uh, what? All right. Uh, no, no. Hey, listen. Uh, listen, Greg. Uh, I'm not going to let her kill you. If uh, you tell me where the rest of your friends are. Um. Uh, ugly dwarf place. Where's the ugly dwarf place? Um. Uh. uh mining place. With, with axes and, and picks. Near here, but underground. Okay. How many days away is it? Um, uh, 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 uh. And he's gonna faint from the trauma. Uh, well, you know what? We've locked up worse people than this in, a, in the city city jail. And Carmilla can keep an eye on this one. I'm That's sure a good idea. That. I mean, he's unconscious, and. Sindri like just actually does like a quick pat down. I don't think he has anything else on him. Ooh boy, let's find out. Uh, make me an investigation check. Perhaps if you shake him, <laughs> some, some, I don't know, some shiny uh, fall that, out. It's an eleven. An eleven. Um, there is. There's gonna be a shook 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 shook. Um. A pocket of sand, like a just like a, a full pocket of sand, is going to start trickling <laughs> out, and amidst it, you're going to see that there's like three slightly bioluminescent cave fisher, like centipedes, are going to go. Doop, doop, doop. Mm. Uh, oh, that's going to be a no wow. for me. And uh, then, oh god, uh, as you are shaking, um there is going to be a little boom as a huge jar uh well about the size like a like a 250 milliliter mason jar uh, is going to go out of one of his pockets and is going to land right on your toe can i get a deck save <laughs> i rolled a one i rolled a one i'm fucking okay. done i'm over it <laughs> you take five points of bludgeoning damage to the toe oh my god Funk. Oh. Oh, gravity gets them every time. Every time. However, it did protect the jar, which is going to go thunk <laughs> and roll off. Uh, and you're What's going in to the see jar? toes. Oh. Pickled toes. That's quite ironic. It hit your toe. You know, I could have done without that. Um. Oh. You okay there, Sindri? Uh, Sindri, like, grumpily drags the goblin by the foot to the jail cell and just tosses him in. Sindri, what is going on? You will hear Carmilla say oh. the line of people still up front. Thunk, thunk, thunk up the stairs. Oh. Okay. 
Found one of your call found one of the culprits. Is that the goblin? Yeah. His name's Grek. Ugh. I know. And Cindy will open the like the door to the prison and just launch him in. So ah. lands on the ground in a in a just a This one is I wouldn't say harmless because he didn't have, didn't have a jar of toes with him. But um, he's not armed. And we're going to find the rest of his idiot friends. It is probably good. Sorry, I, I need to get back to taking this here. Okay, sorry. So you're saying that that the, 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 there's a haunting? What do you mean there's a haunting? She's talking to this old man who's like, I did shit. I saw it over by the, over by the, the Adermath Orchard. The, the trees are talking. They're in the trees. It reminds me of the war against the elves. Okay, I'm leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> we have enough to do so far. It's haunting, you, uh... I tell ya. You know, it probably is. Probably full of ghosts. It's full of ghosts! You better hurry yep. before I join them! You know Hold what? On. Before oh. I join them! Sorry, my teeth oh. came loose. Put those back. Uh, Sindri, like, will, like, gr like, shuffle out because his toe fucking hurts. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. I'm sure there are many ghosts there. Ugh. <sighs> What is your name? She'll go back to taking notes as you meet back up with your friends. So, what's heading back. What's next? What's closest? Uh, so, closest uh, to you right now, uh, looking at the map. If we return to the map, we can see... Nope, that's the map of the entire region. That doesn't help me at all. Uh, map of Phandalin. Uh, so the next closest thing to uh, to you is uh, Barthen's provisions is very close, and there were some problems at the well that you heard about. Right oh. I suppose we could go look at the well. I mean, we already rebuilt one stone structure today. I suppose it's probably going to be goblins again. Yeah. We might be pleasantly surprised. It might not be goblins. Or it might be, be ghosts. You know, I feel like I'd prefer goblins. But we'll see. Ghosts honestly wouldn't be anything that like bad. that wraith we dealt with the other day, then honestly, it's not that bad. Oh yeah, that wasn't that bad at all. You guys did really well. Alright, well, let's go. It's gonna Didn't... start walking off towards the Barthens. Alright. Sidri will limp behind Lyric. <laughs> Do you need some help there? No, I'm fine. My <laughs> foot just hurts. And I'm so cool. sick of these god... Maybe a little bit of healing would be nice. Okay. Two wounds. <laughs> <laughs> Which, if I remember, because it's been a second since I did that, should be just like a D8. I feel like five straight to the toe would be like a broken toe. Yeah. Oh, 100%. <laughs> you absolutely tracked through yeah. you guys did. <laughs> The That's toenails just gone. Oh, no. yes. uh, I don't want to think about it. <laughs> ah. All right. <laughs> okay, where is Kira All wins. right. So making your way over to the well, uh, as you reach it, you're going to see this modest looking brick well, red brick, no less. Uh, behind Barthen's provisions is dilapidated and crumbling. The well's walls are toppled over. Chunks of brick and stone litter the nearby grass, and the well's roof is splintered and caved in. The winch and pulley have been smashed to pieces. Sindri heals 10 hit points. Okay, so Sindri is able oh. to walk over. You're gonna feel this satisfying crunch as your toe realigns. What did I do with the goat? Where did I put it? Did I take it? Is it still with me? Did you just like Rope, walk? Did you walk goat, over with Sindri and do you bring the goat with you, or did you tie it over to Carmilla's bench when she wasn't paying attention? <laughs> we give you a present. 
<laughs> now with free goat. and a goat. Yeah. <laughs> I need to flip a coin. One second. All right. This is important. Uh, party name the goat and goblin. Like oh, guiding, guiding goat. Uh, guiding goat. Uh, is heads left with Carmilla or is tail left with Carmilla? That's a great question. Who do you think has better? I'm not going to say it. Tail? Probably the goat. Yeah, I think um, that you're. I think you. You're the. Well, I think that she has fangs, so that's heads, and you have. You're a bard, well, so that's I was tails. Goats eat everything, so it would definitely start eating the paper. So that's why I was thinking maybe Carmilla would be heads. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do it. Okay. Let's flip. It is heads. The goat is with Carmilla. Okay, so you tied it to her desk when nobody was paying attention. Yeah, and I gave it a death glare and was like, "Behave." Oh. <laughs> Hello. Why is there a goat here? You'll hear as you walk away. Whose goat <laughs> is this? Lyric will walk a little more quickly. Um, by the way, who has the jar of toes? You, nice. hold, you hang on to it for later for a snack? I, I will take it just so it, like it's not discovered by a group of like young children at some point. I yeah. mean, we did just leave a pile of bodies in the street. Oh no, we have that. <laughs> we can fix that. <laughs> Guess who has a fly speed? <laughs> Squish. <laughs> Are you kidding? You're <laughs> just gonna like airlift flies. them out of here? Oh my god. For reals. Well, actually, I imagine better than, than what I thought. You were just gonna feed them to Squish. Well, that was actually what I thought. <laughs> All right, all right. He's I'm already done up that on my before. Caitlin interpretation. No. <laughs> We, we speak Caitlin. Yes. Squish is just body disposal. Yep. This is so concerning. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I didn't even teach him that. All right, Waste. so. Waste not, I guess. Or use, recycle? Hmm. <laughs> really convenient, actually. <laughs> good, good night, everybody. Um, all right, so. Um, you make your way over and are going to see um, that there is uh, the, the well that I explained before. Um, does anybody have a passive perception of 15 or higher? Sindri, you're going to hear a low gurgling growl. Coming from inside of the well. Y'all, friends, what? there's something in the well. Draw a sword. Anybody Anthea, can you get... Clearly, something. Anthea, what? can you guys light on the rock again? Uh, yeah. Light rock. Oh. Okay. Uh, anybody who's listening now can make me a uh, an intelligence nature roll. Sure. I would love to do that. 14. 14, you're like, you can't quite hear. You just hear, wait, could be water? No. Uh -uh. 13. Six. 13, you're like, I don't hear anything. Sindri's probably hallucinating from the toe damage. That's What'd you get, reason. Anthea? Six. Okay, you're like, <laughs> you think that's your stomach. Oh, I am hungry. Uh, Sindri, you can make a nature roll too. I rolled a nine. <laughs> So oh, like, you guys are like listening. You're like, the noise stops apparently. Hmm. I'm gonna throw the oh. light rock into the well. Okay. The Landing down, it over. is going to, uh, it's going to splash at the bottom, and uh, as you are, as you are looking down, you're going to see. As a D and D player, I'm obliged to tell you I have sixty foot dark vision. Do you have sixty foot dark vision? <laughs> wow. Good job. <laughs> Yeah, me too. Thanks. <laughs> All right. But do you uh, have blinding light vision? Sorry, that means so good. Oh God, why? <laughs> Incredible! I love it. All right. So, uh, as you are looking down, you're going to see. Make me a perception roll to see what you see. I'm sort of imagining, like, I don't know how many of them are, like, peering over the edge of the well, but, like, Lyric's got her head, like, 
over and is trying not to stab Sindri with her horns. <laughs> uh, 17 on my perception check. 17 on your perception check? You're going to see that like there are some little footprints in the muck at the bottom of the well. It looks like they hit the ground pretty hard going down. Uh, it is uh, down in the well itself. It's about a 20-foot drop. And as you are looking over, you're going to hear, uh, Hey, how's it going? As a, um, a teenage halfling kind of leans over. And you're going to recognize uh, from your brief time at Bar Barthens, uh, this is one of like the stock boys. Hey, are you here to hunt down those like those those weirdos? Yeah, can you tell me a little more about them? Sindri's uh, like uncoiling rope as he's talking to like <laughs> tie to the yeah. side of the well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, they 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 came and vandalized the place. They were like smearing paint all over the side of the building, and then they um. They, they broke apart the well. Um, I heard him coming out here, so I, I, I grabbed my broom and I chased him. I was like, hey, hey, you get out of here. Stop messing with our well. And, and like, these little, these little, like, crazy guys, they were like, 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 like my size, but like, like a little bigger, right? The strange folk, like, bigger than me, um, big flat ears, big heads, and like, magic? Like, their hands were like, meh, like, glowing. It doesn't sound like goblins. It was Can weird. Can I roll something to... Sure. It sounds even remotely familiar. Okay. Go ahead. Make me an arcana roll. Okay. That would be you. a nat 20. Oh, that would be a nat 20? Uh, oh, that would be a nat 20. <laughs> that sounds like some type of strange magic. Perhaps sorcery? Maybe some of maybe sorcery? these maybe these goblins have a sorcerer among them that's drawing down like strange energies. Or maybe a warlock that they've made a, a pact with something. Oh, I hope they're not if, I don't really like the idea of goblins making pacts, but maybe they seem to have some sort of magic. What would they make a pact with? A poop of, god? Maybe. Oh, no, they just, I mean, they mostly just destroyed the well. It was weird. I was doing like shelf stocking and I was taking out trash and stuff like that. But they, did, they, they didn't even go into Barthens. They just started breaking the well. This was last night. What What time last oh. night? Uh, like sundown? Okay. That's usually when I take out the trash, right? Like right when we're closing up shop. But like, no, it was really weird. So oh, also, also, they spoke common, I think. Um, I, I heard them shout, uh... When they, they ran away, they jumped down the hole, and they said, hurry. It didn't make any sense. They said, back to the rest? I guess, like, the rest of these weirdos? Oh. All right. Did they take anything? Uh, no, they just broke the well, which sucks, because, like, we don't... We don't have water now. Oh, well, um, we can fix it. She's been kind of trying to analyze the broken winch for while we are here. I mean, but you know, there's no reason to hurry with it, really. Like, we're, we could use the other well. <laughs> oh, no, it's it's what I do. Oh, okay. He seems a little unenthusiastic. Listen, we're not going to hurry too much. You're going to other people can get water instead of you. Sindri's like climbing in and lowering himself down the road. Oh, hey, look, it's just. Yeah. No, it's just it's dumb. It's just that every time I pulled like anytime I've drawn water from the well, I've had like weird dreams and nightmares. And I just I, I just be if you're going, God, you're going down in there. Just be careful. I'm pretty sure it's it's cursed. It's like bad luck in there. Real bad that juju, man. It sounds like it's contaminated. Strange. Oh, yeah. Possibly some sort of miasma. Might be some goblin toes down there. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, yeah spooky. Sindri anyway, slides down the road. Gross. Just, just, just be careful. It's been dry since they. I haven't. There's not been any water for the past day. Oh, he's gone. All right. 
Uh, so, with that, you are going to walk down so the rope. That's what we're doing. All right, who else is going? Derek's going to follow right after her, pretty much. All right, sounds sure. good. Oh, well, I haven't... Oh, okay. Sindri probably gets, like, a, a tail whipped into his face as Lyric <laughs> descends. So, with that, you are going to slide down the rope, and... At the bottom of it, you're going to scent the the smell of earth tinged with acrid rot fills your nose. What looks like the remains of an underground river snakes through this cavern, though a pile of dark rocks blocks its headstream. Uh, as you're going down, can I get everyone to make me an athletics check, please? <laughs> Not with that dice. I mean... And it could be worse. Uh, 17. Oh, perfect. Not a problem at all. 18. 16. Athletics, you say. Yes. Can I use my... De do I have determination? Yes, you do. <laughs> Amazing. Um, that would be 14 with determination. All right. 14. You are all able to shimmy, shimmy, shimmy down the rope to the bottom of the well. And as you do you are going to take a look around, see that there is a large amount of stone up at the top of the top of the cave that, well, the well, that has been completely blocked by a cave-in. And as you are looking around, you are also going to see and, and smell tons of trash that has been tossed down here over the years that's kind of like started to rot inside of inside of the well. And as you are looking around, the far corner of the room has the source of that scent near the closed off capstone. Well, the closed off headstream, I should say, is a huge three legged creature munching on the trash pile. A pile of carrion and sewage beneath it that is being dragged in its tentacles and maw. <laughs> okay so this is like not a typical well it's like going into an underground cavern yeah stream. it looks like it's a cavern well weird yeah also, why happens. the fudge would they throw trash into their drinking water yeah maybe that's their problem yeah that's like also we've been <laughs> we've been drinking this water okay oh, oh. oh. Right. We need to make a water uh, purifier. Anyhow, uh, Sindri cracks cracks his knuckles. <laughs> okay. He's got our sword out. That's the problem for uh, later. As you do that, the uh, the monster is going to turn around. Which um, everybody who wants to can make me a nature roll. I can try. A quick question. Yeah. Did we have a? Did the time between fighting the goblins and coming? You did not take a short rest. short rest. Okay. All right. I'm looking for a fourteen on this. 18. 18? Uh, that is an Odeo. 15. <laughs> Odeo! Yep. <Yeah, laughs> I don't think it, my nine gets it that. Is a, it is a poop eater. Yuck. They live it's in sewer systems and latrines and things like that, and they devour uh, well, they devour the stuff that uh, cities leave behind. Uh, and it looked like it was minding its own business until you cracked your knuckles and looks up at you. <laughs> And can I get an initiative roll, please? Oh, boy. <laughs> Guess what mine is again? Five? Low? Yep. <laughs> Same roll as last time. I'm just going to hurt them more so my the Odia doesn't have a two. Oh, what thanks, Dice. Wrong? Guess what I rolled instead of a two? Three. A one? A three. Yeah! <laughs> God yep. damn it. God damn it. All right, let's do it. Uh, let's use the track Wasteland Warrior for the fight because it has waste in the title. All right, top of the initiative, we have uh, we have Sindri with a 22, followed by Lyric with an 18, followed by Anthea, followed by Ella, followed by the Odiog, which I will never pronounce correctly, I'm sorry. All right, Sindri, you are up, looking at this Odia in front of you, it kind of lets out this kind of bellow, opening its large serrated teeth, uh, which is going to just fire trash and refuge out at you. What do you do? Uh, 
Uh, so Cindy will uh, race forward. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Uh, so I'm going to uh, use my bonus action to use patient defense, spending one of my key points and not okay. using martial arts this round. And I'm going to make two melee attacks with my uh, my fists. All right, sounds good. Let's yeah. do it. Does an 18 hit? That is a great question. Let's find out. An 18 will hit. All right. Eh. Bam. Uh, so that's going to be six points of fire damage as I, Ooh. like, breathe fire onto my fist as I punch into it. Oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right. Four points. Uh, five. Or, oh, five. Nope. Six. Six. Six points. Math six is points. hard. Yeah. Math and, is hard. And uh, second attack. Uh, does an, an, an 18 hits. An 18 hits. Yeah, so, and that's going to be seven points of fire damage. Seven points of fire damage. All right, it is going to let out a bellow as flame begins to burn its scaly flank. Uh, anything else you're doing? Uh, I use my movement. I use my bonus action for patient defense, so I've taken the dodge mm -hmm. action this turn. Perfect. And I've made my two attacks. Sounds great. Then Lyric, you're up. So I don't know what this thing is, but with just get it, can I assess whether it seems to be like have eyes or is this like a sound base? Like, does uh, it, it look does like it have it's... eyes, but they look like they're on its tentacles? I'm trying to figure out how this thing operates. Uh, Very strangely, they are weird animals. Yeah. Because I would love to make it uh, let's let's try blinding it let's cast blindness deafness Ooh, okay what's my save your save is a constitution save which it probably is pretty high con honestly it but does uh, i have a 16. Um, oh, you just passed then damn it wow. that fails i did not succeed at that um so that was my that was my action uh, shoot. And we're going to give Bardic Inspiration to give it to Alessandra. Yeah. All right. Bardic Inspiration to Alessandra. All right. Uh, Anthea, what do you do? I bet you're glad you have the mask on now. Hey, Lyric. Does Lyric still have their mask on? Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, you know, I haven't done this before, but I'm going to try it. might be cool. And I'm actually going to try uh, knowing it might have resistance or something because it eats trash. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try MILF's Acid Arrow anyways. All right. MILF's Acid because Arrow. Because it would Let's be cool. It. Okay. Do it. I mean, it also may not hit. We'll it see. It may not hit, but it may. Ah, but it may. 18. That's a hit. I do have a plus seven. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. On a hit, it takes 44 acid damage. Does it take? Oh, you know what? It does. Okay. Let me find one more d4. They are always so hard to find. Oopsies. And <laughs> then I throw them on the ground. <laughs> okay, ka -cha. Don't. Um, wow, well, that could have been better. That's six. <laughs> six? All right. Yep. Um... And then 2d4 acid damage at the end of its next turn. Okay. <laughs> so I'll leave a little asterisk here. All right, your arrow <laughs> fires out, slamming into it. It's lit up that roar, roar of pain. Cha. All right. Uh, anything else on your bonus action? Squeeze. All right, what's Squeeze Get do? him. You got him. You got this. Wait, actually, how far are we? Because we can move up. Uh, yeah, oh, no, we're okay. You're not that far away. No, we're good. We good. And go. Squish is having a time of it. That's no, that's a 14. <laughs> that's a hit. <laughs> Whoa. All yeah. right. Squish, go. Go, Squish, go. Squish with the new. Okay. Squish is going to roll max damage. Heck yeah. I just have to realize what the damage is again. Mm, uh, I can't help you with that. Smokes. Oh, there it is. Oh, yes. I need my D4. This one? Nah, no, it was a different one that was doing well with him. Anyway, pacha! Whoa, max damage! Four plus it. my proficiency bonus. There's seven. Force damage. 
two. All right, force damage going to slam into the side of the Odia, and it's going to rear back, and it's Ella's turn. All right. How hurt does this thing look now after all this? Honestly, not terribly. This is like, it's basically like punching a bull. This thing has a lot of hit points. It is tanking. Okay. Um, I sprout wings. And instead of just running, I'm just going to fly, like skim the surface to it. All right. Leaving a little like wake behind you in the water. Yeah. Nice. I'm going to hit it. All right. Go ahead. One of those is a natural 20. Oh, God, no. Are you going to smite? And the other one is a 22. Sorry? Are you going to smite? Um, yeah, might as well. Might as well. Um, oh, by the way, uh, Odios are considered aberrations. Oh, even better. They're not extra planar, but they are weird mutant poop monsters. All right. And who are you giving your advantage to? Uh, who's next? Uh, next in initiative is the Odia. He would love the advantage. <laughs> Followed yeah. by Sindri. No. Sindri. Okay. Um, Always the bridesmaid. Okay. So, I'm sorry. I just have to find where my stuff is again. Mm-hmm. Uh, sat, 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 sat. Okay. So... Man, this thing was having such a good day. It found some trash. Like, it didn't have to take a bath. Okay. So one attack, the nat 20 attack, is 50 points of damage. Holy shit! Okay. Oh, no. No, that's wrong. I'm missing, making a mistake there. That's yeah, so why. Should... Okay. Uh... No, I was right. It's just both attacks, all total, plus all the extras for the nat 20 are 50. Oh, okay. So everything together is 20, 50. I was okay. adding everything and I was trying, kind of going, wait a minute. Did I double something I wasn't supposed to double? <laughs> Holy crap. So I got very confused there for a minute. <laughs> but no, it's everything added. Beautiful. All right. So oh, rushing forward, uh, you are going... More, because I forgot my bonus is that. Okay, so no, okay, five. Well, Sorry. well, you Bonus rounded one of my numbers down to a zero, so that's good. So um, you're going fifty-five. You are going to knock this thing directly to bloodied in a single hit as you slash down the side of its face. Uh, it is going to let out a horrible scream of pain and rage and confusion as you do so. Uh, it was having such a good day, man, uh, and is going to. Roar as it is its turn now. You ready? All right. So Not it's going to make. Slightest, okay. I use my it, bonus action. Uh, it is going to let out a roar, and all of you are suddenly going to have an image in your head of like how nice of a day it had as it telepathically projects, like finding a tunnel and like going, oh, look. All the trash from the tunnel flowed into here. And then, oh, being kind of alarmed when there was like a collapse in the tunnel behind it. But, oh, well, at least there's less water. And there are these weird green guys that left all this trash for you. And then you just hit it with a sword. And now it's going to uh, uh, to make uh, two tentacle attacks on you. Uh all right, so the first one is going to be a 16. That's going to be Ew. a mess. The second's going to be a 23, though. Yeah. Uh, and that is going to do an amazing amount of damage. It's going to be... Oh, that was crap. Um, that is going to be... Um, ba -ba -ba, uh, that is going to be nine points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And five points of piercing damage. And you are grappled and restrained as it wraps a tentacle around you. And I'm going to spend a hurt them more for fun. Oh, it's only a 16 plus. Oh, I don't have to roll for this. Uh, can you make me a con save?
Did you use the Bardic Inspiration I gave you already? What die size is that? Uh, it's a d6. I will use that. Because I need it with my constitution. Uh, what fifth level Bardic Inspiration is a d8? Oh, is it d8 now? Oh, nice. Yes, d8. Woohoo! Um, that brings up to... Is 23. Uh, 23. Okay, you are going to be fine. Uh, it grabs you with its tendril and reaches out and slams you into the wall as it spins around to bite Sindri. Uh, and you are just going to go <laughs> slammed into the wall. Um, you are restrained, but um, that is... You're going to take half damage from this and will not be stunned. So, good um, job. And whatever you rolled on the Bardic Inspiration dice, because you did a saving throw... You get temporary hit points equal to the number rolled on the Bardic Inspiration dice, plus my Charisma modifier, which should be plus four. Okay, that'll happen after the damage. Well, actually, let's think of the sequence of events. So you use it on the saving throw. So I guess it actually comes before the damage. Hmm. So how much would that be? Uh, that would be nine. Okay, so you Including take five points of damage four. off that. So you have four temporary hit points left from this as the, um, how does this shield her, Lyric? It just vanishes in a little, like, puff of soft music, and you just, you feel better. You're a little bit more resilient. Okay, that's all. All right. Uh, and the creature's going to spin around, and Sindri, I rolled to hit you. I rolled dueling 18s as my base. Boo! Patient defense, my ass. Uh, it is going to turn around, let out a roar, and is going to bite you. Uh, and that is, that could have been way better. Uh, that's going to be uh, da, 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 12 points of piercing damage. And I need you to make me a constitution saving throw. All right. Uh, does an, uh, an eight do it? An eight sure does not do it. Uh, yeah. So uh, it is going to bite into the side of your leg. Uh, which is good because it has the like the size of a maw that it could completely take your leg off and is going to rake you with its fangs. That is going to be uh, you are going to become poisoned. Oh, no. Fuck. And please make a note that uh, you are going to uh, be making consistent saving throws because uh, this thing eats poop for a living. Great. You, I you are... like legitimately never should use patient defense. Every time I use it, I get I'm crit sorry. or like. You no, know, it's not you. It's like just like it's not worth it. I, I love it. You're the only. Damage. It's the only way I can hit you. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, no. yes. Okay. True. Uh, True. So you are going to feel this nauseating feeling work its way into your veins as a disease takes hold. Cool. Well, you have a uh, So it's my right turn there. now, right? Is that uh, the end of its turn? It is the end of its turn, which means that technically Anthea has something that that she has to do to me. So, Anthea, yeah, what do you got? I rolled. It's going to take seven damage. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> okay, now, Sindri, it is your turn. You have advantage and disadvantage. So, I will use my first attack and make a normal uh, melee attack against it. Please do. Here comes the uh, And that will be a 18 to hit. Nope, that, 19 to hit. That'll absolutely hit. Uh, so, that's going to be uh, eight points of fire damage. Ooh. And then... <laughs> So against making a saving throw, I'm just going to breathe fire on it. Or making an attack roll, I'm just going to breathe fire on it. Okay. Uh, that's going to be... That's a deck save for me. That's going to be a five. All right. So it's also going to take another eight points of fire damage as I breathe no! fire, right, like golden flame right into it. Okay. Um, <laughs> and you could do that as a replacement for your action. Um, it is... It, flame encompasses it and it's going to start wobbling on its three legs uh, which you would assume would make it a very stable structure, you know, like a stool but it looks yeah. like it's about to fall over from pain so I have one more attack I can make at disadvantage uh, so I'm going to make my monk attack uh, with disadvantage, so alright, do it uh, uh, two 19s so well, that's what I get <laughs> for two 18s yeah, it's uh, so that's going to be 11 points of fire damage. How do you do it? You punch the poo gas monster. Uh, I'm going to uh, 
I'm gonna rip its brain out. Oh my mouth. god! Oh my god! That's so brutal! <laughs> That's so Just brutal! Just scoop in, scoop out. Okay, I... It... It's... You are going to get, like, a last psychic image projected. I'm gonna spend my drama bomb for this. Uh, <laughs> you are all going to get a psychic image of your own brain being ripped out by Sindri. Can I all get right, everybody... Well, Alessandra was already gonna puke. Um, so that just makes it worse. Oh. Can I get everybody to make me after. an intelligence save to rationalize what you just saw? No, I got a six. Uh, okay. No. Oh. She's too busy. Oh, no. <laughs> intelligence <laughs> save? In save. <laughs> oh, oh, man, I had uh, seven to it. Twelve. <laughs> think I rolled like poop. Okay, this is a save, not an ability check, so this yep. does not get my jack of all trades. Yep. So it is just that <laughs> plus that, which is... I think I have determination that I can spend. Uh, you, do. you, you do. Do it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, you, Everybody does right except now. for Alessandra right now. 17? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, Ellis, um, everybody uh, except for Lyric is going to just need a minute to process this. I think it probably falls on top of me, right? I'll roll a d20. Like, Are you high or low? Yeah. I'm low. Today I'm low. That was a five. Yeah, all right. Perfect. Uh, if, so you should be like, if... <laughs> All right, Ella, it's going to drop you. Just... <laughs> yeah, right into my own puke. Yeah. <laughs> is anyone a sympathy puker? No. Is it? <laughs> I think I need to roll a, a, a check. <laughs> roll a check. I was like, I, I don't need... think I even even need to check on this. Just having oh, seen that happen no. is enough. Roll a yeah. console. You probably should too. That's gross. No, but I can smell it, so it might not be too bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, but you did see a brain. Oh, no, you didn't see the brain get ripped out. No, I'm no. Not that. Ten. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say advantage for a con con check to not sympathy puke okay sounds smell. good all right so uh -huh. what we're, we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna fast forward a little we're gonna fast forward a little uh after <laughs> a lot of presentation there, there's there's some Including some you all are feeling a little a little you're gonna take some time and you're gonna process your emotions and and you're gonna take a few breaths and and Press to digitate yourselves back up. We'll say Chris oh, yeah. is dead. Chris is dead. <laughs> I will not be processing my emotions. I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're we're going to hard cut to um, yeah, lyric. Can I use my uh, song of creation to create a thing of alcohol? Yes. To not process, so then I'm going to yes. hand that to Sindri so he does not have to process. He's still part under the the Odia. But yeah. Oh, I was gonna try and drag him out too. Yeah, all that. Do you want to use? Uh, do you want to use Squish as a jack? Sure. Squirt, 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 squirt. I don't know. Anthea. He's basically hydraulic. Sorry, I was responding to chat. I can spend a song of creation to create a lever, like like a car jack to lift it up um, with, with Squish's help, and then I can Strangely, use Strangely, you don't know what a car is, but you know what a jack is, so that works out. <laughs> I know what a cart is. And you know a cart <laughs> jack, <laughs> yes. All right, yeah, so. carriage. Cart jack, baby. Carriage jacking is what happens when you ride your carriage to the wrong part of Neverwinter. <laughs> you get carriage carriage jack. jacking is when I air horn. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, some probably very bizarre sequence of events la later. All right, and you are going to give an alcohol. Uh you are going to be able to roll uh roll the Odia off of Sindri and hand him the bottle of what are we talking about here? Is it just like ethanol? Uh what can it... I do with up to 100 gold? Or 100 gold? Well, that's like more and than 1000 1000 dollars in real life, so like you can get at least like some natty light for that. Yeah, it's probably gonna be pretty good. And the great thing about it is that it only lasts for like a few hours. What? Literally. It's like for, is it Ferengi synthahol? 
<laughs> it lasts until the spell end. My my effect ends. That's great. Okay, so you are going. What what are you handing? Pick pick the alcohol type. Like what what is what is Cinder getting? Like moonshine. Uh. But not this white. My, this is my favorite batch. This is the best batch I've ever had. Oh, good. I'm uh, not sure where it's from. It's what it just Elven exists. peach moonshine. Does you know what? At this point, doesn't matter. It's the best I've ever had. Thank you. This is better than that bottle you gave to me on our boat from Candlekeep, but Cindy will just drink some of it like lying on the ground still. Just like So what are the rest of you doing as as the two of them are processing their emotions? Ella and oh, Thea? Squish, don't eat that. You, it, you might actually get... Can you get sick? I don't know. It eats garbage and poop and all sorts yeah. of trash. Just come here. Yeah. We'll get you something better. Yeah. Um, other than that... To, get it to stop going for the Odie. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> Ella, so I'm just gonna try and get as far from the monster as she can, and just look around and see what else is going on down here. Sounds good. Make me an investigation check. Nine. Well, <laughs> you can see that there's a cave in. I have no determination, so I can't uh, can't increase increase it. But so yeah, so there is oh, wow. um, there is a cave in directly in front of you, and cool. uh, you can see That's that a lot of uh, luck. yeah, it looks like there that looks pretty recent actually. Um, and looking around, like, it kind of appears that that's where the water is coming from. There's a little trickle stream coming beneath it that is, like, oh God, about as wide around as your foot. Just slowly kind of bubbling out of it. Most of it's even just being absorbed by, by the ground inside of here. Nice. You might want to direct somebody else to take a look at this because you're like, aha, a thing. I have no idea what it means. Water. <laughs> yes. Oh, you can drink some water. Wait, what is it? I don't know. The cave in looks recent. I can I investigate a rocks, thing? Though. You absolutely can. Make me an investigation roll. I can sure try. Oh, man. It was almost a 17 on the die. But that's going to be... I rolled a 17. Wait. Okay. I just have to make sure I have a plus 7. Oh, my God. I was so far down my sheet. Investigation? Yeah, 17. 17? <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, um, looking around, you are going to check out this cave in. And looking at it, you can see that it's very recent. It looks like. It looks like it. I don't know. You think it might have been done to cover, to cover tracks? Looking at the wall, you can see the water line and erosion lines on the walls are only about about five feet up, and this cavern looks like it goes slightly above that. They... If they were goblins, they might have, like, waded or swam through this tunnel to get here. Hmm. You don't think that it would drown you if you, have, like, cleared this out? Um, but that I is well. I don't think it would drown me? I mean, it would probably drown you, but, like, it probably <laughs> wouldn't drown Sindri. Ah. Uh. You know, she's going to relay that. Probably should investigate it further. At some point, I think that would be good. And as you are just kind of poking at this, you're going to see something slightly shiny. Oh. Reflected in the dying light of your... Um, of your light spell as it starts to fizzle out. Oh, what is Very, that? There's looks to be a bit of metal sticking out from the base of some of the lower rocks of this. I'm going to grab it. Okay. Make me a strength roll to unearth it. Oh. It's kind of wedged in the rocks a bit. <laughs> I'm a halfling. Yeah. 
How'd you do? Uh, not a one. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> oh, I got easy. four. All right. <laughs> All right. So Anthea reaches down, grabs something, and starts going, eh. Eh. Right next to you, Alessandra, her butt kind of like wiggling in the air. She's trying to like pull it out. Oh. Don't clip Seems that. Seems really lodged in there. Sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm trying to get this. I'm trying to get this metal thing. Oh, do you want help? Yeah, if that's okay. Whatever it is, Alessandra will try and yank it out. All right, give me a strength roll. And Anthea can assist. Yay! Muscles. Oh gosh. All right. Uh, that is 22. 22. All right. Leveraging it back and forth a couple of times, you're going to be able to pull it out with Anthea's help. Uh, do you let oh, Anthea yeah. be the one that holds it as you kind of swing her around, or are you just going to pull it out? Yeah, I don't think she deserves it with that three. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I don't think so, she's earned it. Uh, you are going to pull out a broken well winch. Is this the winch? It looks like Ooh. it is, but the drum has been removed. Huh. Oh. Can you fix it? I think so. Just gonna have to... Hmm. She'll hand it to Anthea. <laughs> Anthea, Thank make you. me an investigation roll since you're looking at this. And um, Lady Alessandra, you may assist. So, Anthea, you can roll advantage. Nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, you can see that it looks like not only has this been broken, it looks like it was absolutely smashed open around the edges that would normally attach to the drum. The drum was specifically ripped out of this thing. Hmm. Whoever did this knew what they were doing. Why would they just take a drum, though? Maybe they're making something. Mm, maybe. Did you find something over there? Yeah, they didn't just like smash it. They took a part out in particular. They knew what they were doing. L like they took this something, took the stone from Exactly. The... That's concerning. What could they be doing? Drum, a shiny, Black stone. I don't know. You could maybe think... we'll find more ideas, more hints at the other disrupted places. Clues. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Can I get a perception you... roll off of. Actually, Sindri, with your 15, you're going to be able to hear the sound of like some arguing echoing down the well everyone else is not going to um when you say down the well like up from above or yeah so on the main the main area near barthens you're gonna hear some like oh you gotta be kidding me echo down at you y'all we have some trouble ahead like Sindri's like still lying on the ground drinking uh like mm -hmm. having like but like moved into the light so he's like looking up oh what's wrong with you Sindri he looks why are you still on the ground I feel really bad. Huh. Not like I'm hurt, but I feel like I'm going to be sick. And that's not that's from fair. this, because it's really good. This is really nice. Do you want some? Sindri will be like, he looks a little like feverish. Can I poke him yeah. and kind of like try and medicine check by like... Yeah, give me a medicine check. some light on him and looking for pallor. Haha, -ha, natural 20. Natural Whoa. 20. He He's diseased. He, this thing bit him, and he looks like he's growing sick from it. Well, you're diseased. Oop. <laughs> Lay on hands. <laughs> Tell someone they're diseased. What well, he is. I mean, just, I can fix food. it. Oh. Uh, you get better. Oh. oh. I feel better. I'm good. Hey, thank you. 
doesn't um, heal anything. It just takes away the disease, and that's five points off my lay on hands. And I also feel less like I'm going to throw up. So I'm going to take a quick peek out top to see that nothing bad is going to happen while we're down here. Um, hold on a sec. So we'll scamper up the ladder. else down here worth checking? It's pretty just, cut off. I'm just going to peek my head up. Okay. All right. Uh, so looking at that, aside from like if you wanted to try to clear the rubble and reopen the water supply, that would be about all you could do down here. Um, Sindri... You are going to pop your head back up. Looking around, you can see that there is a little bakery next to the Stone Hill Inn. And as you are looking that direction, you are going to see a baker standing in front, like with his arms crossed and a rolling pin in his hand going, like, come on, guys. You don't expect me to buy this, do you? And looking down, you are going to see three of the ugliest children you have ever seen in your life, which are goblins that have dressed themselves as children with clothes they stole off of a drying rack and are holding sacks out going sweets, please. This is the worst day. And I think that's where we should call game <laughs> <tonight>. <laughs> Sindri's no good, very bad day. Yeah. Sindri's no good, very horrible, very bad day. Um, so did you guys have some fun? Anymore. That's true. You're not diseased. Thank I was kind of, I was kind of bummed because I wanted it to try and disease me, and then I could be like, ha, ha, immunity. <laughs> Don't worry, I got, I got that taken care of for you. Don't. <laughs> God, it's the no good, very horrible. Up, up. Yeah, that's so great. Um, you guys so are fantastic. The alcohol I created, because it was the most recent one, is that it lasts for a number of hours equal to my proficiency bonus. So three hours, I guess. Oh, make me a con save real quick. See if you're drunk. I mean, I guess it depends on oh. how much he's consuming and how Sindri, how much moonshine did you drink? Did you drink a drunk amount of drink? Okay. Probably not, because I was lying on the ground, so I'd probably be spilly if I was uh, right, that's fair. trying to drink. Be oh, silly and so spilly. Three like, hours? Ugly so mock like, children. I am picturing the kid types from Nightmare Before Christmas. Basically, <laughs> basically, I love, I love, nice. I love what they're doing with uh, this part of the module, guys, because it feels like they're injecting a lot of the fun stuff from like other games, like Rise of the Rune Lords, has like a nice. little touch of this where they're like, I have a a d twenty goblin chaos chart that I roll whenever you guys complete a mission. Whoa. And my oh, only regret oh my is God. that they only have half of the table filled out, and on like a ten or an eleven plus, nothing happens, which I say bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'll... random in the chat has a great suggestion for Sindri that you should hmm. multi-class into ranger for favored foe goblin. <laughs> Rearch this, bitch. My favorite this. part is not. Is you not a like... favored foe? Uh, yeah, not my favorite. Just my most frequent. <laughs> <laughs> oh man i'm actually legitimately tempted uh but like i don't hate goblins i'm just very fr very annoyed by them at all times you're just so practiced at them though at this point <laughs> yeah i do need to learn goblin though that's the real secret i'll allow it during some carousing some downtime you'll be able to do it uh, all right. Hey, folks, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Fandelver and Below. We wanted to keep it a little tighter because Krista is out this week, uh, but we will be back with a full length episode next week. And then we're getting geared up for Extra Life and it's going to be pretty good. Only like three weeks until that. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to Bookworm Games for sponsoring us. Thank you for everybody who came out today. There were a ton of raids today and I love them all. Uh, and with that, I got to say thank you from the shittiest episode we've ever ran. Um, tish. We'll see you next time here on Fandelver and below the Shattered Obelisk. I wonder what it shattered into. Anyway, good night, everybody. You know, the name of the book kind of gives it away, doesn't it? Just a mm -hmm. unwee bit. Unwee bit. I feel like that's a hint for something to look oh my for. Gosh. A hint.